Hello, gang. Colin here. Festa 67's workshop and folks. Hello, hello, hello. And uh, yes, we got a bit of a new look because it's we might we might modify the name a little bit. We're not sure yet, are we, mate? But yeah, it's just make it pang pen boom. I was going to say, maybe we might wiggle it around to make it less mouth trip upable, maybe. Yeah, because I've already need. tripped over it. But Panzer last week said, oh, you know, call the show Festus Friday Frolic with Fox. Uh, I've already called it Malware Pendages more than once. Yeah. We might go Friday Frolic with Fester and Fox. We're not sure yet. <laughs> Have a think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but you actually, uh, you actually got it wrong just then when you called it Friday Frolic. <laughs> oh, did I really? So <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I'm yeah, I've tripped over it a few times. So, uh, yeah, that's what we might do, folks. So, yeah, it's just. Give it a generic brand. So anyway, let's have a quick looky lose in the chat. Uh, Mayhem, brand. <laughs> Mayhem Model Works in saying uh, hello to Lynn Dipple. Hello to Lynn Dipple. Uh, Mike saying not me, Andy. Not a problem with my arm whimpers in the corner because he had his second jab today and he's going oh, we to did, Chris. Didn't I've, got my, I've got my jab on Monday. Oh, oh, that's it, mate. Fox will be in bedridden for a week. Yep, I'll be, I'll be in, in, in surgery for a month. Uh, you'll get him fox hugs off of Andy over at Mayhem. Yay, Mayhem hugs. Uh, Scaly's going, <coughs> Miss Ice Queen. Andy's playfully punching Scaly models in the arm. Uh, that's okay, Slugger. We know you're free, 432 man enough to take it. There you go. 432 was mentioned. Exactly. The 432 has been mentioned. Scaly says it only goes blue when you squeeze it too tight. <laughs> or a matron. If it goes blue, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, Lynn says 432 was mentioned. Absolutely. There you go, Dad. 432. Lynn saying, yay, blue. Yeah. Uh, Paul Chaplin saying he's holding it too hard, Lynn. <laughs> hey. uh, Scaly says, how long into the stream before I time out, Sue? Well, I'm sure I saw something already pop up. I could be wrong. That sounded wrong as well. Did you study, Neris? I know. <laughs> Less than two minutes. I'm doing well. <laughs> yeah, start as you mean to go on. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Yeah. Oh, Gemma Williams is saying hello to all. Uh, Mr. Shapland uh, says Andy. Plastic Monkey saying hello to Andy and Gemma. Wendy Hickson's in saying hello to Paul. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Paul. And uh, Plastic Monkey saying hello to Wendy and Lynn. Who's dishing out loads of hugs? Chris Connor bears in saying hello, Scaly. Mayhem says, I could have said 0. 0.3 seconds, but I'm having or giving Sue the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Absolutely. All foxes in there saying, Good evening, everyone. Prepare your sleepy times, comfy pants, and hot cocoa. Yes. I've not, when was the last time you had a cup of hot cocoa? I've not had cocoa since I was a kid. Oh, mate, uh, yeah, it's, I, it probably was when I was living home with my mum. Yeah. Because I was mummy's youngest, when I was mummy's little soldier and all of that. Oh, yeah, we so. always get the hot cocoa in there. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you know, little chuck of the ching, all of that. <laughs> you know, she's four foot eight, bless her, I'm six one, and she goes, oh, look, it's my little baby. That's like, yeah. <laughs> You're like, this isn't right. I like mum, I'm 54 now. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Shut Petzl's up, in. <laughs> yeah. You're not old enough to get a cuff around the ear roll. Yeah, you've got to get a ladder to reach me, Mum. You've got to reach the ear roll first. Yeah. Uh, he's saying, hello, Colin Fox and everyone else. Hello, mm. mate. We've got all the hugs being given out. Uh, from Lynn there. All the hugs, thank you very much. Everyone's saying hello to hello, Richard hello. and each other. Uh, he says he's going to be right back because he needs to fit, refix his bloody Mary. <laughs> James Chapman's in saying, evening, guys. Good evening. Lynn says she's currently watching Fox play with his X-Wing this morning stroke afternoon. Oh, is that what he's calling it now? <laughs> it's very big. <laughs> it's a very big X-Wing. <laughs> so you do a scale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, James Chapman says, hi to Sue, Pan, to Gemma, Andy, Lynn, and everyone else. It's got a realistic extending action. Never mind. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it opens up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, matron. Mm. <laughs> that will teach me not to type and eat at the same time. It's true. Men can't multitask. No, we can't. We're useless, mate. Nope. Cy Reynolds is in, says evening oldies. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear who's that? He on, who's he on about? I don't know. Ted's not in, is he? 
Ah, Ted ain't there. I know Dad's in the background, but yeah. well, he was. Yeah, but he just, I think he, he doesn't might have that. off. But uh, yeah, evening oldies. Bah! Oldies. <laughs> Young <laughs> Edward Leonard snapper. says, Hi, everyone. Watch out for the fl fly infest of fluids. fluids. <laughs> Clean up <laughs> no. on aisle four. Clean up on aisle four. Yeah, there's fluids. Oh, no. I can confirm Fox is not broken unless he's done it in the last 30 minutes. He's been chatting to him. No, I'm not broken. No. Not at this moment uh, in time, anyway. Yeah, it may now get broken, because, yeah. Yeah. Plastic Monkey says, where's Nobed gone? He was in the background there, but he <clears> might have uh, disappeared. Anyway, so it's, not, it's not me that gets broken, it's you that gets broken. Oh, mate, we're just like seven-year-olds, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, the trick Jenna is to get Colin corpse in. Oh, well, mate, yeah. Oh, mate, I can do that myself. Well, you tend to do it to yourself anyway. Oh, mate, I'll try so hard to be good and it just don't work, does it? It's like your messy telling you not to do something. When you try to be good, you're going to say the oh, wrong words. Oh, yeah. When she says, do not, under any circumstances, mention this, it's like that thing out of Austin Powers, in it, with the bloke with a mole? I'm there yeah, and I'm mooly, like... Mooly, mooly, mooly. <laughs> yeah. It's like, <laughs> if I ever get the chance, take Colin into a church and just say, don't say the word cockmongler. If you, tell, if you tell him not to do something, he'll be like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'll sit there and I'm, I'm biting my lip when I start getting... Rocking out, you do the rocking as well. Yeah, and then it's... Do you need cock, to go to the toilet? Cock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Plastic Monkey says, you're live, Colin, don't confuse So Yeah. So we set it at 5-2 because in the past we've kind of messed up with the time into it. If we say, join us at midnight on Friday, people turn up at midnight on Saturday or midnight on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's why yeah. I do it like that now. Yes. Psycho Fish, you say, where is everybody? Well, apparently he was supposed to be feeding you, mate. That's what we said. Hi, Psycho Fish. So I saying, uh, everyone that said hello, I'm too lazy to say, say hi to everyone individually. Something's just never changed, Fox, do they? That's a salute, by the way, 07. is a salute. Oh, is it? All yeah. Right. If you imagine the, the seven is like your left hand doing the salute. I thought he said oi. Oi, everyone. Yeah, it's yeah. a weird left-handed salute because you should salute with your right hand. Yeah, get them glasses sorted faster. Yeah, yeah them glasses so weird. Lynn Spectrum. says, I have psycho fishy hugs. <laughs> Ooh, fishy hugs. <laughs> have a shower if I were you. Uh, he's also saying, I've been foraging for food. Would it kill you to throw some brine shrimp in here once in a while? <gasps> sea monkeys. Absolutely, mate. That's what, brine, that's what sea monkeys are, brine shrimp. Absolutely. Dan Kramer's in saying hi to everyone. I hope everyone's doing all right. Oh, Hello, Dan. I hope you're doing well, mate. Could you imagine having a fish tank with fish in it and then buying a load of sea monkeys? You'd just see the, the circle of life in action. Oh, it'd be mint, wouldn't it? It'd be like, it'd buy violence. Uh, Bobbins 9000 says it's frolic in time. Johnny's in. Hello, Johnny. You all Hello, right, Johnny. mate? Uh, Dan Kramer says, yeah, sleep-deprived Brits building stuff. Life sounds like fun times. Absolutely. And thanks exactly. for the um, patron increase, Dan, by the way, mate. It's massively appreciated, mm -hmm. fella. I'm sleepy, I'm tired, and I've got a sharp knife. Cy Reynolds is saying hello to Deb. Oh, Chuck Norris is in. Morning, Chuck. Morning. Sean Wiles is in saying hello. Hello, Sean. All right, mate. Uh, Mark Sellard saying hi to Mayhem. And Edward saying hi to Wayne and Chuck. Oh. So if I've missed anyone, apologies. Yes. But uh, it's a bit jumpy, the old chatty kins. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. so I'm gonna... We do have to skip a little bit just to get through all the chat. Yeah, yeah otherwise I would just be reading the chat. And... Oh, all night long. Right, let's have a bit of bench cam action and a bit of light. Talk bench the cam. How are we doing? How are we doing for adjustage? Adjustularity. Uh, then that I can move my microphone about a bit now. Because you can you can hear really well, can't you, with that new earpiece? I got a new earpiece and I realised that yeah. my old earpiece was rubbish because this one suddenly was like having a jet engine in my ear and I'm like, whoa. Uh, so right, I can right. I can hear I can hear Fresta's cells dividing now. <laughs> Could I tease you? Oh, oh I missed that what? Oh. Look at that. We might, we might have been. <gasps> oh. Oh. Are you all right? Do you need, do you need have, to go I to that to special room? See, I thought I'll have a quick play with the paint, and I may have done. 
the whole sponsoring them free turret. I'll just do a quick test to paint the whole Bane blade. Oh. <laughs> no, I just thought I'd have a play. And uh, yeah, then, so... you went, then you went back to the bench. Yeah. So Ooh. it's like, yeah, that's only had a, a slight mist coat. I don't so, think it missed know, that much. Have a, no, <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> were, were. That's why so I get paid the big bucks. Yeah. And it was one of those. I, <laughs> I thinned the paint down and sprayed it. And I thought, is it sprayed? And like a spoon, I turned the airbrush and went straight over the lens of my glasses. So I had a yellow nose, a yellow cheek, and uh, no I've done that the once. Kitchen. Hence the big stain it. on the cutting mat. The wife was like, Really? Yeah, really. You... How long have you been doing this? Especially yeah. after you've just cleaned them out as well. Yeah, and she just looked at me and she was like, I'm going to have to see that man, aren't I? The one that takes you to that special room with the cushions on the walls. Are you going to need to teach H the, the, the term spoon? Well, that's better than some of the names she calls me. <laughs> but anyway, folks, yes. So yes. as you can tell, judging by what you've seen there. Mm, for most impressive. That, most impressive. For those that missed it, Wednesday. Oh, flipping Nora! I'm going to put that on screen because I can. Boing. And it te yeah, I'm getting there. <laughs> it teases it teases someone else, but that's Jesus. where I got to Wednesday. I primed it and cleaned f and filled strip free airbrushes. It's not a tease. It's a hands free lap dance. <laughs> yeah. So it's primed. So yes. But oh, burpage. That's now going to get filmed in incremental stages, the painting Ooh. over the next 11 to 12 years. <laughs> 11 to 12 to decade years, once weeks. Yeah. Week, month, years. Which means... <gasps> Which means... Bum, 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 bum. See, I've got, a, see, I've got a major problem now. What? Because I've got stuff to do over here. But I also just want you to go full screen and, and just like just sit and w watch you build that because of the reasons. And I may have already decided... <laughs> I may have already decided that there's going to be a turret on it. It's got a yeah. tit on it. And there's going to be awkwardness. It's, it's perhaps not going to be quite like the box art. Are you going to get oh, legs dear. on it? Is it going to have legs or tracks or wheels? And... You, I, yeah, you want me to put some form of leggage and tracks on it, don't you? I think it needs like 13 more engines on it. 13 more engines. Yeah, it needs all the engines in the world. There might be some additional jet edge getting 3D printed at some point. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there's yeah. a space oh, there's an engine. But all yeah, the space so, on the wings where you can put all the things but there's going to be like a platform that yeah sorry and... now here's the thing here's the thing you got yourself a was bomb decker jet thing didn't you yeah here's the question do you build the was bomb decker jet as a separate kit or do you do you somehow do like a toy car smash up and, and merge the two together well, this is the thing. It could mm. be that there may be, dare I say, a kit bash that may or may not happen. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't really know what you could use from the Wasbomb kit. Yeah. Because it, it'd, it'd be a shame to sacrifice one of that for... But yeah. there's a lot of bombs on the Wasbomb. If you don't make the bomber version, there's a lot of spare bombs and things. But there's going to be, um, how can we say, Orkie Fire Edge. It's got to be in there. It's going to get festered. Yeah, because I've kind of made a rod from my own back, really, you know, by doing the Bane Blade like I have. I can't now I can't now not do something to the other one. So can't now not nor never neither. Wait, what? That's the very word. That was a that was a bit of vaudeville, wasn't it? Hey, why? Have you seen my washboard? <laughs> yeah. Can't now not or never neither. <laughs> oh dear. I think I've got So this anyway, what have you been up to other than uh creating all kinds of chaos around Manchester. Um, been doing a bit on your X-Wing, haven't you, mate? Uh, I have, well today I've been doing this, been doing this, for, this is my e-models build, so I've been working on this today, I'm just doing some finishing touches on this. I did God, on I'll pop your full screen, mate, so folks can see what you've been up to. Oh, you, you can't really see because it's at the wrong angle, but I'm just yeah, going to get rid of the brand from the middle, two sets. Uh, there you go, mate. I've been working on this today on e-models channel. I'm just oh. gluing this arm into position now, while yeah. it's in situ um but i've been finishing this so this is basically built now so what i'm doing with this tonight while we're on for a couple of hours i'm just fettling with this arm to get it into position yeah uh, i will cut some armor off the sprue and get it all cleaned up and ready and then when i've done right. that i'll just crack on with some more space walls but yes this week i have been mostly 
working on the big ass X-Wing. Yeah. I have been for the last couple of weeks. And today was no exception. I've got, I can't see this now. So I've been working on that. Uh, and I've been doing an episode a day. Yes. Because it's only like little part work bits. And I've made I've made myself a problem because uh, I feel I've got up to next, I've got up to Tuesday uploaded onto YouTube. I've not filmed Wednesday, Thursday, Friday yet. Oh, right. And, yeah. and, it's, and it's Friday today or Saturday. Yeah. So I've got to be up early in the morning to do lots of X-Wing filming <laughs> before oh, I do the stream at three o'clock. It's like, oh. It's a nice build that though. That's the Can is that the Canis Rex one, that one, isn't it? This one, this is the Canis Rex, yeah. Yeah, yeah. God, I've got something right. You I did, know. you got you, you did a Warhammer. I know. Learnings, learnings, Festa you, did you've learnings. Been, you've been putting things in your brain. I know, who'd have thought it, eh? It's not natural. So I've not glued the hand on yet there because I need to make that arm just set in place. So I'll you just... do realise though now to keep these shows going, I am gonna end up buying more and more bloody Warhammer, aren't I? Yeah, pretty much. I hate to tell you this, but I think at some point you may even accidentally forge world. Just a little bit. <clears throat> Because at some point you're going to have built all the orc stuff that you can get off it off Games Workshop. <laughs> and of course, some... uh, with the road trip to Warhammer World coming up, mm -hmm. yeah. Because you know, who is complete without a gargantuan squiggoth? <laughs> or, or, or a grot mega tank, which is actually that big. Is it wrong that I'm point, printing out faulty squigs? Did you. Oh. Yeah. Did you uh, did you look up the Grot Mega Tank by the way from last time from Wednesday? I have had a look <coughs> at it. Yes. Was it not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Uh, yes. It may um, it may end up in the purchase of. Purchase did you do a little a little tiny squee? I did. I did, did a ever... Sergeant Bones, Tinker Cad style a girly squill. Ooh. Because it's like it's like the idea of calling it a Mega Tank when it's a Grot Tank, so it's about the size yeah. of a Ford Escort. <laughs> yeah. It's not that big. Sergeant Bones is in. Hello, Sarge. Talk of the devil. Yes, uh, I did do that. Tinkercad, girly squeal of... Ooh. Ice Queen says, everyone, sorry if I've missed anyone, but Mike Scaly Models decided to time me out again. Uh, yeah, he's playing you up, Sue, and he's rotten to you, the bully. Uh, JC Bricks and Bill says, hey, Panzer and Gemma, don't worry, it's me, James. Just changed my channel name, lol. Oh, good on you, James. You finally got a YouTube handle, mate. Yep. Good for you, mate. Uh, JC Bricks and in Bill. the group, all right, mate. JC Bricks and Builds. Oh, Ice, it, isn't it? Ice Queen asks how my sore throat is. It's fine now. It, I, th I think it was like a little viral infection because it was in my neck and throat around the back of my ear, but it kind of went away after a few days. It wasn't oh, that's that was interesting. I've had nothing but throat and neck issues for the last 24 hours. Well, it's, it was really weird because it's like I'm getting my shot on Monday and I was like, brilliant, a week before that and I could get... Because when I had my two teeth out last summer... Yeah. I got a little bit of an infection. Oh right, yeah. Within a few days, and I went to the dentist and said, "Yeah, you just got a bit of an infection. Obviously, it's got some stuff in there. I'll give you some antibiotics." And it went away. Yeah. It went away after a few days. This was the same on the other side. So yeah. at first, I'm thinking <clears throat> I also had <clears throat> a bit of a bout of sensitive teeth at the same time, and I thought, "Please don't tell me it's a tooth-related infection because yeah. I don't actually have a dentist, so I can't go to one." Yeah, I've been good. I've not tampered with my teeth for a week. Good so. lad. Good lad. This is the right answer. No, I'm I'm going to be good, and I'm going to let the dentist deal with it. You're going to be good because Helen will beat you up. I may have been issued with an ultimatum. Does that really work? Is really does that actually is that ever going to work though? Yeah, yeah, it was the threat of the stash removal that kind of won it for me. Ah, hit him where it hurts is what you. Yeah, mean. I thought. Yeah, she's serious now. Yeah, this is serious business now. Yeah, no. this is this is shiz. This is real serious shiz. Yeah, she just said, you know, do you think it's really sensible? And I went, you're asking me whether I think something sensible. I am a twelve and a half year old idiot bloke. You know what I mean? Yep. You're asking yeah. an idiot whether it's sensible. Absolutely. That was your first mistake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She kind of realised the error of her ways. If you pull all your teeth out, I'm going to come over there and knock all your teeth out. Wait, no, yeah, no. It... She just said, look, you know, come on. She said, I know that you're getting on your nerves. She said, but you can damage yourself. All right. She said, and those two things she said that came in handy when you wanted to be a father, she said, we'll end up in the next postcode. Okay. <laughs> right, 
thoroughly understand the error message, of my life. Message completely received. <laughs> <understood>. <laughs> Or received Sierra Tango. Yeah, I'm like yeah, I really, I really uh, am not in charge. She wears the trousers, and nah, I don't make sense. It's just like say, you get frustrated, don't you? Yeah. Right. What do you reckon to that pose with the arm there like that? So he's kind of firing this weapon. Yeah. Which is drooping a bit. I'm have to glue it in place. He's firing yeah. that weapon, which it should have pointed that way a bit. Can't but have this a arm's like weapon, out. Fox. Uh, look at my big weapon. <laughs> uh, but, but he's actually this arm's held out like he's kind of brace he's counterbalancing himself yeah because yeah, this arm's doing works. all the talking this arm's just like ah. yeah, it's not that, in slappity it's not in slappity mode because he's not using that because he's doing a big he's doing a big ass laser that other arm's going bothered he's going bring it yeah. right well I'll leave that to dry for a little bit that's the vicky pollard arm yeah but new but yeah but new but face yeah, bothered i shall leave him to dry momentarily uh, well, I'll do some bits. Uh, uh, JC Bricks and Builds says I've posted a link up for my very first live stream. If anyone would like to come and join, Ooh. sorry about the subtle plug. Don't worry about the plug, mate. It's not a problem. Um, when is it, James? You might have already told me, mate. But bear in mind, I am a goldfish, and I forget my own name, even if it's said to me in less than five minutes' time. Uh, si Reynolds asked if the legs are glued. Yep, they ain't going nowhere. I prefer to have the legs glued onto the base just to uh, just to make paintage easier. Uh, once we um, get Fox's streamyard woes fixed, we will we will be tapping you up, Sire, si, for a modcast, mate. Yes. He uh, said I could have one leg standing on a rock, if not, and the open arm resting on a pillar of some kind. No, that would require cutting around the legs, and for an e-models build, I, I can't be bothered. It's going to sit on the e-model shelf and never get used. So that's not the example to set. You should be going out of your way to do everything a good modeler would do. No, it gets out of the box when it comes to e-models. Tut tut. No customization. I'm teaching them the basics. Because my figuring is, if I, if I get the kit and then I'm saying, now here's a limitation of the kit which you can overcome by cutting the shit out of it. Yeah, that's not really a good advert, really, is it? This is why my e-models builds take so long because I'm like, yeah, I'm going to add this, 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 and this, <laughs> and I'm going to make it do this. Yeah. I will learn. So we all start though, isn't it? It's like, yeah, let's do this dio, let's do that dio, and it's the problem is I start like that, and then by the time I finish the model, I'm bored. I'll just stick it on a flat base. There you go. Uh, mine's just off to the side there. It's just I, I've got some static grass um, and bushes and bits and bobs. But where I've been moving around, it's all kind of in different places, and I need to gather it all together in the one place because I keep buying stuff that I've already got. By by gather it all together, do you mean remember where the hell it all is? Yeah, because some of it I cannot find. I'm like, really? How can I lose two and a half pound in weight of static grass and stuff? <laughs> yeah, really? yeah, but yeah, but this is this is like when you said the other day you had like a drawer with some stuff in. It. You're like, oh, I found that, and look at that. I didn't know that was in there. Yeah, and it was it was like a drawer for airbrushes, and it had like a, something else in it. Oh yeah, it had everything in it it shouldn't have had. Like, yeah. Really? Oh, that came in handy. How handy! Right, I need to do some armor cleanup. Uh, Scaly said that Sue was misbehaving again, Edward, and needed to be timed out. She's done nothing wrong, bless her. She's been an angel all night. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. You're just crawling because you'll get in trouble if you don't. I am. I'm scared. Absolutely. Because Sue has assured me that when she meets my wife, she will grasp me up for every single misdemeanour that happens in the hangar. I think you're probably fine, Cole, that everyone who knows you would say exact would do exactly the same thing. Yeah. Purely because they just like to like to watch the results. Oh yeah, because honestly. You think Churchill's a bit of a bobbin head dog. You should see how brave I am when the missus is chastising me. Oh, yeah. I am that bloke staring at his feet going, no, no, love, I'll tell you. Awfully sorry for forgetting the error of my ways. And, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, trust me, I've, I've never met H, but I know you well enough. The first thing I would do is grass you up for all the stuff you've done. Oh, yeah, Mike Mountain did. Because I'd want to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I've only got to listen to Dave whenever she comes past. Hello, Mrs. W. How are you? You're looking well. In his best phone voice, she goes, oh, isn't he lovely? I'm like, no, he's not. 
leave him alone, she goes. He goes, he's been picking on me and she'll cuff me on the side of the arm. Never you mind, she says, you tell me all about it. And I'm like, <laughs> you get. Oh, by oh, the yeah. way, this stream was pre-monetized. Aren't I a good girl? You are a good girl. I did learnings. You did. See, when yeah, I nag you about a... something, it, it turns out nicely. Yeah, but it was quite simple, really. I just went into StreamYard, went into the stream settings, enabled the monetization. And mysteriously, that button did what it says on the tin. You pressed the give me the money button. I did. Yeah. Well, curiosity got the better of me. I thought, well, yeah. By curiosity, you mean desire for money? Uh, no, I thought he's given me an instruction. And if I turn up Friday and he says to me, <laughs> yeah. did you monetize this? And I say no. There's going to be a text message straight on my wife's phone. <laughs> he's not doing as he's told. Give him a clip around the ear, Al. Yeah. Because I know deep down you. Why do you think I won't give any of you her number? Because I know you'll use it to grasp me up at every opportunity. I deny that. It's absolutely true, but I still deny it. Yeah. It's, oh. oh, Cole, you should give us a number in case you get stuck under your cupboard and we can help you. It's like, no, 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 no. That ain't what you want to do. You want to drop <laughs> me in the shit at every opportunity. How very dare you get that exactly right on the nose. <laughs> I know you too damn bloody well, you mate. You know us too well. Damn you, sir. Damn you. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I've locked a rivet off. The complete on. opposite of what he wants to do, just to lull you into a false sense of security. Yeah, it's the best sense of security to have. Wouldn't have you any other way, mate. No. no. Keeps us all sane. What are mates for, if not to get you in trouble with the missus? Oh, absolutely, mate. That's exactly what mates are for. I did it to is... one of my mates one night. We was at work and we had a stock take on. And, you know, he was giving it the old, oh, what time do you reckon? We was because I was the manager there at the time. Hmm. I said, ah, I said, we've done it about an hour and a half, two hours tops. Like, all right, he says. So uh, he rang his missus to let her know. And I literally walked up to his phone, clinked two cups and said, you fancy another beer, mate? <laughs> <laughs> can you tell her we're not at the pub i said yeah of course i can hello love he's just told me to tell you that we're not at the pub <laughs> john smith's <laughs> he said mate yeah he said i'm not at the pub love he kept on and on and on when he came in the following day he went grief he said i got when i got home <laughs> uh, you gotta do it though don't you absolutely but he got his revenge he got his revenge I stupidly forgot all about it when H rung me. <laughs> yes, oh, never yes. forget about people that owe that uh, you owe that have revenge waiting for you. Yeah, he stood there. He had some music playing on his iPhone, straight down the end of the phone. He said, "Cool." He said, "That strip has got some tits on her car windshield." <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, oh, and I'm just, you know, when you feel that cold phone receiver against your ear, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I said, he's only getting me back. Where are you? So I'm at work. Yeah, she turned up. <laughs> <laughs> just to check. Just to check. <laughs> I said, yes. yeah, you're so glad I'm here. She said, not the as glad as you are. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, it's always the people that you forget. That are, when there's people that are, are there to get you back, it's always the ones you forget that you owe that get yeah. you back. The ones oh, that yeah. you remember, never, never, they always forget to get you back. Oh, yeah, it was 10 if, out of you know 10, I mean. mate, the way you got me back. I'm like, yeah, you can have that one. Yeah, I'll give you that one, mate. Yeah, that was like, yeah, that was up there, mate. It's always the ones that you forget you owe that, oh, yeah, that get you back. It's rivet and time, you know Carl. Absolutely useless, eh? It's rivet time. Rivet? Rivet time. Go on then. <sighs> I'm doing rivets. It's rivet time. Oh, sorry. I thought you was. Uh, I thought I'd done something wrong. No, no. It's rivet time, as in it is time for rivets. <gasps> oh. Time for the rivets. Kajit will apply rivet to things. I've been really methodical tonight because I want to make sure that I don't build stuff that then when it joins together I can't get to. So I'm doing it in sections because I know my little one millimeter magnets are coming this week. <gasps> 
Say, you know, magnetized Ooh. roof that clues in the notes. So. Yes. Have you actually written yeah. it in the notes? You can have a spider. Was that a spider pig? That was. <gasps> I, th I think that's <laughs> the first spider one. pig we've had on this on this Friday show, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. I stealthily do them, though. That's not I try to stifle stealth. them. But, yeah. I don't want a stealth spider pig. I want yeah. proper spider pig. Spider pig. Spider pig. Spider pig on crafts, man. Hello, welcome to the craft. I can't do craftsman's voice. I Are wish I could. Brilliant. I mean, I love uh, Craftsman Junior. Wouldn't it be cool if there was an even Ikola baby craftsman? Oh, I mean, Craftsman Junior is so adorable. He oh, is right, so yeah. squidgeable. You just want to just, just a little. Oh. Craftsman. It's Craftsman, isn't it? It's called Craftsman. Craft That's yeah. it. I like it every now and then when you hear like Craft Mama come in and say something. Oh, yeah. I just think craft son, there's got to be craft grandson. Looks like. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so adorable. I love it when, I love it when he does something weird. He just goes, what? <laughs> well, he'd like, he'll be talking, there'll be a funny noise. That's honey black. What? <laughs> oh, Listen, uh, uh, Cy Reynolds says, you guys are stealing my affinity for squigs. Oh, bless ya. I'm not stealing. I'm not doing squigs at all. How can I steal the affinity for squigs? Yeah, I am... Uh, Printing loads of squigs for the Bane Blade because there's going to be squigs in bags. Yes. Yeah. I know so, somebody yeah. who would appreciate a bag of squigs. Who's that? You? No, not me. Who? Somebody who hasn't got a stash at the moment. Sorry. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm not going to do a bag of squigs. I, I've just decided he will benefit from bag of squigs. He hasn't said that. I'm just saying I've decided that he would. I will happily help Sai out because Sai has always been the first one in the community when times were better for him to put his hand in his pocket. Yeah, and that's how you know when you've got good mates because your mates send you bags of squigs. Yeah. I will send you bags of squishy squigness. I don't mind. Squigularity. On the packet, just put bag of squigs. I was I was shocked to find actually we had a conversation today. Yeah. And I was amazed to find that in Warhammer 40k there were actually no squigs. Oh really? This, despite being part of the squig uni uh, the orc universe, there's like one or two where you've got a squig with a model, like a dude with a squig. Yeah. And there's the rucker truck squig buggy. But in 40k there's no actual dedicated squigs, it's all in Age of Sigma. See I kind of still want to do a trailer full of squigs. Well, squigs are an orc thing. They're just, there's no, you can't yeah. like buy a pack of squigs with a squig herd or anything. It's like, it seems really weird that you can't. I didn't know that. I thought there were, I thought there were kits of stuff with squigs all over, but it's all Age of Sigma on that. That's the first thing I thought when I picked up the uh, Valkyrie box for tonight. As soon as I looked at the front of it, I was like, I've got to have a turret. I'm yep. like, damn you, Fox, you're getting in my head. <laughs> you don't want me in your head, Jesus. I oh, know, it's bad, isn't it? But there's worse things you can have in your head, but not much. You know, cholera, <laughs> <laughs> thrips. Other than that, other than that, I'm pretty much the worst thing you can have in your head. No, but you've always done it in a nice way. Yeah, but Simon's address is now in the moderator chat, by the way. Oh, is it? Yes, because Paul okay, was going to send him something. So uh, I, I've stored it away in my special safe address book, which is my Games Workshop account. All right, mate. Yeah. Because I have dis I've discovered that the Games Workshop website, you have an address book for like for orders. Yeah. <coughs> and it's a really good address book. You can just keep all your addresses. <laughs> if ever I need yeah. to know someone's address, I've probably saved it on my Games Workshop account. Yeah, we can assure you, sir, your address won't be given out, mate. No, no, God, no. We wouldn't we'll do see. that to you. But it's in the moderator chat, so. Uh, now that we we're all acquiring it, um, we know yes. you're proud. We know you're, you've got your male pride and all of that. Lot, and we respect that. Don't get me wrong. We respect it, but we completely ignore it. Yeah, we're not out to embarrass you in any way, shape, or form. No, we are, if we can. You know, you've had circumstances beyond your control, mate. Um, you know, things have had to change for you. But I look back to, uh, you know, when you broke Fox, and you've always been there for everyone else. So please, can we be there for you, mate? Uh, I think what Colin means to say is, sit down, shut up, and get what you're given. Yeah, I'm basically doing it in a polite way, but if you don't, I will issue you with a large, dry slap. Yeah, don't make him go all Helen on your ass. 
Yes. Now, you don't want me turning up on your doorstep and giving you an hug, do you? Oh, God, dear Lord. So, you know, yeah. We look uh, after her. We're actually ignoring the chat completely. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, JC Bricks and Bills says, Fester, I thought I would let you know I've just added you as a mod on my channel. Thought it's the least I can do for what you've done for myself and everyone. Oh, thank you very much, James. That's an honour, mate. Yeah, Roadkill Films is in, says hi, hi, hi. Uh, Nim is in. Hello, Nim. All right. Uh, and says, wait, Colin is learning. Oh, dear. Should we be worried? Yeah, you should be very afraid. I'm not uh, trying to pronounce anything at the moment, so I'm doing well. That's true. Uh, Roadkill says, Fox, Colin, do you want to hear the most random thing ever? And then doesn't say what the most random thing is. Oh, yeah, random. This is our middle name. Yes. Uh, Bap Athwal is in. It says hello to everyone. Hello, Bap. Hello, Bap. Uh, you guys are... Oh, we've done that one. And then Panzer Koenig later on says, Roadkill, are you going to tell us this random thing? Uh, a bag of squigs sounds like a euphemism, says Nim. Uh, yeah, squigs. Free yeah, for Edward, a pound. Free for a pound. Uh, Edward Dunlis says, fruity squigs in milk. <laughs> mm. <You laughs> hope the squigs, squigs here. I hope it's the squigs are cheese and onion flavour. Uh, si Reynolds says, I have your address too, remember? <laughs> I don't know if it means me or you. But, I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you know what, Si, si I've got Colin's address if you need it. That's also <laughs> oh, no, stored no, no, on my no, Games no. Workshop account. Behave. Oh, I don't need my address. Yeah. Uh, Squig Mass says, Nim. Sergeant Bones actually has a couple of good recipes for squigs. What, to eat them or to feed them? <laughs> uh, Johnny, says, damn, Johnny says, damn dog went straight for the tyre. I don't know what that means. Uh, Sarah Jane is in. Hello, Sarah Jane. Uh, Baby Kate and well. I think we already knew Sarah Jane was in, but it was actually Johnny saying hello to Sarah. So I assumed it was Sarah just come in, but it's, it's Johnny that had just come in. I'm special. What can I say? And we still don't know the random thing from, from Roadkill. Do remember, folks, when we're, if you want to catch our attention in chat, as you can see, Colin and I both have our, our tablets in front of us. Colin's is a bit bigger. It's more like a phablet than a tablet. Almost a phablet, but not quite. It's a big one, isn't it? I like a big one. <laughs> Anybody that asked you? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> mm, that went well, uh, didn't it? Yeah. So yes, yeah, so we have got the chat in front of us in our, in our big ones. <laughs> Colin's got a big one in front of him, uh, so we can see. But we are old and we're busy doing fiddly things. So if you want to catch our attention, please put your comments in big fat capital letters. So or that we bold. have a chance to see it, or bold. Or if you want to catch our attention, just do at Model Making Guru or at Festa 67's Workshop. It puts our name in an orange box and we can see it. Or if you want to, you can do a super chat by pressing. Have you got a super chat? Uh, yes, I have, mate. Yeah, you can see do... that box just above there that says uh, support me on Patreon or use super chat. Yeah, there, there's that <laughs> one, yeah. That's, that's the answer to the question. So, yeah, you can use the super chat button as well. That puts your comment in a colour box and there's no way Colin can miss that. Even with his ganky old man eyes. Uh, Lynn Dipple's back. Hello, Lynn. You're Hello, up, Lynn. Love. I say someone needs to make everyone a squig hat, says Nim. Squig hats for everybody. Absolutely. I did think you got a bit excited over Fox's large weapon, Col. <laughs> uh, Panzer says that 30, 38 minutes is all it took for you to drop the tone. Well, I thought this when um, I was doing the artwork for the channel. Or for the show, you know, Vesta and Fox's Friday Frolic. I thought, now, what are people going to think we're up to? I, I did wonder. Uh, yeah. Sarah Jane says, I noticed Fox read my comment but ignored me. Typical. I don't ignore you, Sarah Jane. Oh, bless you. How can you. I ignore you if I read your comment? Yeah, we don't ignore Sarah Jane. Uh, Jim Byrne says, got to go now. Feeling a bit rough after my second COVID jab and need to try and get some sleep. Oh, bless you. Sorry to hear that, mate. Yep, get better soon, but You'll be fine. You just get in the after effects. You'll be fine. You'll live, soldier. And you have something in chat for you there, dude. Uh, yeah, I've just spotted it. Bless him. Uh, Paul Shapland has put in a £5 super chat and uh, kindly said, yeah, it's still working. Yeah, a super Cheers, chat from Paul, the monkey chat. Much. Very kind. Bless him. Why do I know that you're going to finish building that entire Valkyrie by the time I've just glued together a couple of bits? No, I won't, mate. 
because Ooh. I know certain bits I can't put on today because of painting it. Now here's a, here's, a, here's a question. Yeah. Uh, if I remember rightly, the Valkyrie comes with the lower half of the pilots moulded into the cockpit. Like the, uh, the legs and stuff. Yeah, they're in the seat. Yeah. Now that doesn't really matter, but I assume you're going to try and cobble on some orc bodies on top of them. Well, yeah, I was thinking of trying to grind out the bit that's on the seat and yeah. Well, if it's any help, in the Wasbom Dakajet, mm. you get a selection of, I think, three or four pilot heads. Oh, right. Uh, and you do get, I think you get one spare torso. Oh, right. But I don't know about anything else. You might have one. I don't know whether you can just stick an orc head on top of the pilot's body that's well, in yeah, there. Well, I've still got the files that I use to do all the figures and that, so... Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure you could stick an orc torso on top of the legs of it because they're only little yeah. legs. On, you can't see them anyway. Uh, Rather than try... uh, so the Ice Queen has put in a, a five pound super chat game. So it is. So it is. So it is. Thank, it is. Thank that you, it is. Sue, and uh, that horrible dad kicking you out and timing you out. Don't you <laughs> fall for his shenanigans, darling. <laughs> uh, Sir Reynolds says orc torsos are dead easy. They are all rounded at the waist. Yeah. JC Brick says it's not letting me tag Fox. It might be because I've not typed anything in chat for a while. If you're in chat and you don't type for like about ten minutes, uh, you time yeah. out, and then nobody can tag you. If I just randomly put something in chat, it untimes me. That's why sometimes we're like whenever I do, whenever Colin does his stream, I can never tag Dave. Because Dave never types in chat. Yeah, yeah. After about ten minutes, you, you just drop off the edge of the earth, basically. And you can't Dave people. is the international man of mystery. Don't forget. Yeah. So if you want to get our attention, it's easier just to tag Colin because he'll always be taggable. It's only because I don't shut up. Fox is upset because I don't like his upcoming project, so he ignores me. This is war now. I'm not ignoring you. You've not said anything oh, since. Oh bless. She did say I'm in bed already. Hi to everyone. I ignore nobody. No, we're not going to ignore Sarah Jane. No. So Reddle says, just flatten it off the round bit of the torso, the orc torso, and make sure the surface of the imperial leg is flat. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, orc torsos, they have like a round bit where they've where, uh, got the waist there and the belt. Yeah. And then there's like a ball, half ball. Yeah. So you can just sand that flat, cut it flat, and then make yeah, sure the top no of the worries, leg is flat. Yeah. Because yeah, I've got some STL files of orcs. And uh, like I say, I've got stuff I'm going to be printing out for this. So I've got like a tank commander and flight commander and all kinds of different bodies well, and heads and torsos. And... Well, like I say, you've got a couple of spare heads in the in the WASB bomb kit. Yeah. There's one with like a a, a captain, a pilot captain's hat and goggles. There's one with a, um, a proper white scarf behind him. Yeah. And a couple of other light ones with that stuff, but it's like if you had, if you you could you could cobble the the, uh, the canopy together on the Valkyrie to make it an open canopy. Oh yeah. And that way you could have all the pilot with the with the floaty scarf. And stuff. Depends what you want to do with the Wasbon Dacker jet, though. Yeah, it's it's one of those with the old Valkyrie. It does need something because obviously where I've gone, <laughs> I've gone slightly mad with the Bane Blade. You probably no. Might. Have you now? Have you now? I wouldn't have guessed. Yeah, I've kept it to myself because you know I wanted it to be a surprise. It's like this um, is like this is like Dad never tells you about getting a hug from Mama Fox. Yeah, but I've heard Fox flatulence. That's all I'm saying. There may have been Trump. Yeah, there may have been. Yeah, you know, he, if he had been there last week, uh, Wednesday, even when you did that, that was good. Mere moments after the stream finished, that oh, there may have been a certain degree of parpitude. Someone had obviously been bottling it up for a lengthy period of time. That's no, I haven't. I'm just, I'm just really gassy at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, I've, I've started doing BBC Radiophonic Workshop comedy trumps. I don't quite know why. Oh, mate, it was impressive. I'll give you that. Most impressive. Surprised you could still walk. Oh, it, it warmed my, warmed my seat cushion up a bit. <laughs> it, it wasn't what my dad would call a cushion creeper. No. It's definitely not a cushion creeper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, I've got to figure out armour for this chap now, haven't I? The girlfriend taught him to wee on my tyres, says Johnny. I really have no idea what's going on with this about tyres and dogs. 
uh graham at robertson welcome graham hello graham I hope you're all right mate feeling a bit better in yourself fella mm-hmm um i went sarge sarge says i went to a warhammer store once and they said i could be a model for them a primark i asked no as an orc boss yeah, yeah i was offered a model modeling once a model for shrapnel <laughs> yeah, yeah. So i filled out a form to do some extra work once but nothing ever came of it that would no i thought i could have used my use my, my my dad's contacts but it never got anywhere no Oh yeah, because your dad was the uh, was a Coronation Street uh, cameraman, wasn't it, or something? He was a he was a senior lighting cameraman. Yes, at Granada, yeah. did so. many things. Nominated for a BAFTA, Ooh, yes. Oh yeah, we've got the nomination trophy downstairs. It's very nice. You don't know that, but when you get nom I assume it's still the same. When you get nominated for a BAFTA, you get a little trophy. Yeah. So yeah, if you don't win the way. actual BAFTA, you still get something. Yeah. It's a, it's a crystal crystal glass swan. All oh, right. On yeah. a black marble base it's very nice oh. not many people can say they can have a, a nominate BAFTA nomination trophy in there exactly in the cabinet. makes you proud mm -hmm. oh yeah do, do 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 if i remember rightly he was nominated for uh the series of first among equals all oh, right which was a Jeffrey Archer novel that ITV of Granada made into a drama, TV drama. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was the head cameraman. They got nominated for that. Oh, wow. But he was beaten by the lighting cameraman from Loves and Lives of a She-Devil. Oh, right, yeah. Who just narrowly beat him to it. Bastards. Oh. So I can never watch that series now. No, no, it's, it's rubbish. It doesn't exist in our society. Yeah. Because that would have been that would have been that was the only award my dad ever got nominated for in his entire like forty odd year career. Well, was beaten out by some BBC schlock. I don't know. It's not acceptable. Yeah, no, that's just yeah, fascists. I want to, I want to, I want to wee on my TV license. It's that bad. Fascists. Yeah. Uh, better be. Uh, that was almost the nationwide theme tune. I know nationwide. Ba -ba 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 yeah. <laughs> it's in my head now because I know yeah. library music and film music and stuff. It's nationwide and day by day. Oh my God, don't remember day by day. Is that a bit before my time? Because I'm not as old um, as you. You might not have had it up your end. It was. Oh, that's... <laughs> I try not to have many things up my end, but <laughs> egress, not access. <laughs> well, not unless you get me tanked first. <laughs> you might not then have anything had goes, I suppose. You might not have had that program in your area of the country, then. In all my area. <laughs> I've got that in my head now. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Simple task, it's all right. Do simple task for simple folk, absolutely. Welcome Do to it. Friday with Fester and Fox, absolutely. Absolutely, we try. Mm. Got that. Uh, I got spent that. Been a load of Fester icons, bless her. Fester icons or fun, uh, you know, the Fester icons from no, no, I mean, I'm just trying to think how you would portmanteau the word Fester icons, Ficons. Fons. Festicons, Fons. Yeah. Fest so, uh, yes. Festons. Fons, Fens. Shut up. I'm stopping there. Uh, right, where's his crotch piece? Uh, Roadkill still hasn't told us what this thing was. Oh, yeah. Do you want to know my big secret? And then nothing. Yeah. What is this? Clickbait? Real life clickbait? God damn it. Next, they'll be giving up like top 10 lists. Oh, no. Mayhem says, welcome to F3. For, uh, Friday with Fester and Fox. Fluids are optional. Cashier number four, please. Absolutely. I need to start a podcast that's just called Cashier number four, please. I don't know what it'd be about. Just do it as a, one of those ever everlasting streams that people seem to do, where it's just on a, a loop. That's the word. I do have a plan for a silly stream. 
I'll write. But I need to contact an artist to ask if I can do it. Uh, yeah. I have an application on my PC from many years ago called Uncle Weavy. Yeah. And it's just a silly little... It's an artist that made it. It's a silly little application where it's just this uh, character that sits there. It's just his head and shoulders. And yeah. it just it's procedurally generated dialogue, basically, off a small mm -hmm. library of words. And it just sits there and like just randomly spews things out endlessly using this oh, right. yeah. very simple rules how to construct sentences and using the words in the database and uh i just want to turn it on one day and just do a like 12 hour stream of it just going <laughs> yeah it's quite it's quite mesmerizing because he looks really creepy as well <laughs> and the name uncle weavy kind of doesn't help the thing is is there's going to be someone that would watch it oh yeah if there's people that would watch Big Brother where they was watching people sleep. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah there's, there's people that do streams like that and they get billions of views. So yeah. I'll give that a try. I need to contact the artist and ask him for permission to do it, though, because it's, yeah. it's an, an art installation. I'm cool. But I, I just remember, I remember it from like 20 odd years ago when I was looking into learning basic programming. But a lot of them are super cool people anyway. They just go, yeah, no worries, bro. Just do it. A lot of them are like, wow, you, you're probably the only human being that knows who Uncle Weavy is. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I've, yeah, I was learning basic. I, I thought I'd try and learn basic programming many years ago. Yeah. And got a program called Dark Basic. This is going back about 20 years. But I started and, on Q Basic. Oh, really? Well, in the day. well this, this thing, this Dark Basic, had this Uncle Weavy demo in it as one of the things in it. Hmm. I, never, I never actually learned it in the end. My friend and I, we had Quake 2. And we were building levels, but we started, we wanted to build, uh, <laughs> this is so stupid. We wanted to build, we built a Federation runabout. Oh, right. Yeah. Using all the kind of stone blocks from Quake 2 in the Quake 2 engine. Yeah. Uh, we started building the interior, built a runabout and we started building the interior of like a starship, like yeah. um, a Miranda class starship. But yeah. it was just absolutely garbage. We never got, we never did anything with it. It didn't go anywhere. We were just, but we did build a runabout. We made a little cutscene of it doing a flyby, which was quite cool. We were just learning how to do little textures and things in the in the yeah. id engine. Uh, Lynn Dipple saying, "Love the new uh, Festa Friday frolic." Do you think the name is a bit of a mouthful? Do you think we should look at the name still? And... Yeah, do give us feedback because we we were saying at the start we're looking at it's it's a fine name, but is there an easier way to say it? Like Festa's yeah. like. Friday Frolic with Fester and Fox rolls off the mouth a bit more than Festy yeah. Friday Frolic. Because I can happily change the artwork and that. It's just something that folks will remember. Yeah. It makes it more generic as well for us two because, yeah, we have, we've got other things that we might plan on injecting into the shows and building. So, yeah. Buddy builds or whatever comes along, really. But predominantly, it's going to be Warhammer and at some point, it's going to be Forge World because someone is going to torture me. I know it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. At some point, you are going to accidentally buy like a gargantuan squig off, or some sort of orc. Oh, you might get some of the. Oh, there's a couple of orc. You'll see them. There's orc tanks on the uh, oh, on yeah. Forge World. They're quite nice. Oh yeah, there's going to be some things I can grab. They're just it's just resin and super expensive. That's the problem. Yeah, but then don't forget, you're I've not afraid of resin. Printers. You're not afraid of everything. Anything. No, I've got resin printers. Don't forget. Yeah, you want the real thing though. You can buy the designs, can't you? Nope. No, nope. not for Forge World. Oh. No. That's a shame. You don't want to be printing things that are already available though. No. You want to print things that aren't available. But yeah, some of those Forge World stuff. Oh yeah. See, I could sit there and try and make some Deathcore while you're doing your resin Forge yeah. World orc stuff, but I wouldn't because I'd I'd just hate myself and I'd hate you and I'd hate everybody else. <laughs> and I'd just be one seething pit of anger. Oh, bless you. Uh, and I'd hate everybody. And then I'd just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> you'd want to watch the world burn. You'd go home, you'd tell your mum and all your friends that the yeah. world's hating on you. Because if I build a resin, if I film building a resin kit as a pre-recorded video, I can edit it so I look like I know what the hell I'm doing. Ah, yeah. On a live stream, no chance. Yeah, as I say, that rules me out. Then. I have no yeah. clue what I'm doing. No. Ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da, but then, ba -ba isn't that how we all do it? We all wing, wing it, didn't we? Really? Oh, I, I wing, wing it everything I do. 
I can guarantee you so many times that when I've said a video, now what we what you need to do next, like you know, there's been times when I'll be in a video and I'll be like, next step is to do this, and what you need to do here is X, Y, and Z. When in reality, it's the first time I've done it, huh. and I'm like, Yay, I've just drops. read on the internet this is how you do it, so I'm going to tell you how they do. <laughs> As usual, I've dropped something. <laughs> yeah, oh God, I'm going to watch the screen carefully now. Are you? Keep one foot on the floor at all times. Ah, bingo! Look at that result. Salvage. I meant to ask you the other day when, when something fell off the desk and it went into that drawer full of whatever the hell it was. Yeah. Why was the drawer open? Because my feet sit on it. Ah. Uh, I've got a big stack on roller tool chest underneath here. I have the top drawer open that the keyboard sits on normally. Top drawer. But when I am doing these streams, I open the bottom drawer, sit my feet on it. You heard that here, you heard right that here first, uh, folks. When Colin streams for you, he opens his bottom. <laughs> or is that Dad? I'm not sure. <laughs> but we know it's Dad. You're wicked to me, you lot. Hey? You're wicked to me, you lot. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you expect sympathies? No. No, I'm not going to get it. Not with you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on. Because you, you may know you, deep down. I'm you may fine. privately get some sympathy, but publicly, you should have a chance. No. Oh, no, you have reputations to uphold. I start going oh, around yeah. giving you, giving people sympathy for everything. Everybody will want some sympathy. I'll just be a oh, nun. you know full well, mate. We would throw you under that bus at any opportunity. Mate. Absolutely. When I come and do this, the e model show on Monday, I could be in the world's worst crippling pain. But if I show it, I'm dead. I'm like a shark. It's like the, it's yeah. like sharks smelling fear that I'll, I'll be eaten alive. Oh, it's like a tank full of piranhas, isn't it? Yeah. We, we all started off last week ganging up on Chris because he was being a bit of a girl about his sore arm. Yep. And literally, Fox comes in and all three of us turn straight on him. It's like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, yep. whether I'm absolutely fine on Monday night or in crippling pain and agony, I'll be absolutely fine on Monday night. Absolutely. How are you doing, Fox? How did it go? Brilliant. No problem at all. Yeah. And well, I should be absent this Monday. Because yes. my wife's going under the knife. I'll possibly do the show with Mike in the afternoon because Ellen will be in surgery. I'm not allowed to go up the hospital see because of COVID no. regulations. So I'll probably yes. do that take my mind off of it. But then hopefully she'll be out of theatre then and we can start planning on whether she stays in, goes home or whatever. Me personally, I think she should stay in. Does Helen understand that she's done this on your week for what's in store? And it means it's dumped it on me. Does she understand no, that? that might, no, I might not have told her that. She she doesn't understand that she's dumped me in the in the stuck with the what's in store on Monday. Yeah, but that wouldn't worry her because you know you've not had time to poison her against me yet, have you? It doesn't take long. Yeah, but I'm sure <laughs> it wouldn't take long. Sure within two minutes, she would have your your back and go get in there and do your what's in store like a real man <laughs> she would have met. i'll tell you what i'll do the one the following week we dump straight i mean yes that'd be a nice thing <laughs> hang on no hang on wait hang on no because that means you get ted out of a bind then oh damn you spotted that one yeah <laughs> yeah we mustn't we mustn't get ted out of it because he'll get confused then then again no it doesn't mean making ted do his early as well so no, it's, it's fine. You've got a valid excuse. Yeah. But you have to do it for the next six weeks. Okay. <laughs> Remember my first week of being on the show. Oh, by the way, have we told you? Uh, yeah, when you're new, you have to do it the first week. Uh, it's like when Ted won on holiday, I ambled in. Oh, who's hosting this week? Well, me and Chris have decided it's going to be you. Hmm. Okay. Also, you're doing the giveaway and you're doing all the hosting. Bye. <laughs> also, we're all off this week. Bye. Yeah, it's yeah, like okay <laughs> uh everybody's saying hello to everybody in chat absolutely uh let's have a quick look at chat do you enjoy the shows in chat are you you know comfortable us doing warhammer stuff is there other stuff you'd like to get us to look at doing? Uh, yeah look at him look he's like do not no, no, on I, I, question I other stuff other yeah. stuff there is no other stuff <laughs> Do you know what I love when when you look at chat and you don't know the context of a com of a comment yes. because you've not read it and I'm just scrolling up and all all I can see in the middle of my vision is Nim just says just breads 
<laughs> and without any contacts, like, with any context, just breads is the comment of the night. Yeah, Panzer Koenig, who come up with this name, says, yeah, go with the Friday frolic with Fester and Fox. I was going to email you with the change suggestion. There hmm. you go, then. So we'll th rename this next week. Well, well, I thought about Friday Frolic with Fester and Fox, but the way it is now makes it it's more like it's Colin's show and I'm just a, the hapless guest. Whereas Fester's, uh, Friday Frolic with Fester and Fox puts us on equal footing. and it, I don't, It's Colin's show and I'm just the guest. So yeah, it's up to you, Colin. If you, if, me. How you want to... It's like I say to Dave and it's like I say to, to Mike Mountain, Dad, you know, you're on the shows, you're co-hosting with me. So to me, it's a joint thing. You know what I mean? And... Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not one of those people who my name has to go first because I'm the boss. I'm, I'm a princess, boss. yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's not all about me. Bloody hell, you know? Yeah. So no, I will happily do that. I won't do the artwork now because, yeah, we're lying. But... Well, you're in the middle of a stream for a start. Yeah, I'll, um, yeah, but that's <laughs> not me. I have, I, have, I have emailed people before during a live stream and got told off for that, haven't I, mate? Yeah. <clears throat> well, when it's your own live stream. But um, no, I'll uh, make the necessary changes for next week. Mayhem Model Works says, "Welcome to F3 Friday with Fester and Fox." That's a more absolutely a more compact version. What's the what's the what's the story with the thumbnail? As in, what's what's the story with it? It's a nah. what like a networky globe thing. Well, it's a it's a bit of a a Is bit it's... of circuitry, a bit of science, a bit of weirdness, and. For uh, for me, that kind of ties in with us. We we're a bit eccentric, and I just liked it when I found it on Google Images searches, and I thought, cool. Know, there's no real big story. I'm just trying to make it sound windswept and interesting, mate. I guess if you wanted to monetize, you can't just put a pair of nuts on there, can you? Well, no, because we're on there. Our logos are on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it just I don't know. It just resonated with me, you know, because I'm a bit of a circuit boardy type you like your electric electrical trickery don't and you? i don't know you know the idea of sort of science is mm. yeah, yeah we're, nerds. Cool we're nerds cool the pair of us and uh, you're a nerd oh yeah i freely admit it mate i'm a right nerd i still walk through my doors in the house and go shh, 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 as I walk oh back. yeah I just still <laughs> it. it drives yeah. Alan nuts why don't you stop doing that i go because i am 12 and a half Sarah, see Sarah Jane's not happy with me now. She says, "Colin, just leave the with Fox out. It'll be perfect." Oh, <laughs> you've upset Sarah Jane, haven't you? Fine. I'm going to make sure that every episode of the Dodge Charger build is Fox's special Dodge Charger build just for Sarah Jane. Oh, bless. <laughs> she doesn't like Dodge Charger. I don't understand. You can't like a Dodge Charger. I don't understand this. Um, Sarah Jane is a motorsport petrol head, be it Formula One, Moto GP, that sort of thing. So it's her niche. So the muscle cars are a bit slow for her. She likes a vehicle that goes along at about 311 to 12 mile an hour. Okay, that makes sense then. Yeah, that she's makes a petrol sense. head for the motor racing. That's all. But I, but I think on just on a simple human level, how can you not like the Dodge Charger? Well, no, some people don't, mate. It doesn't float understand. everyone's boat, does it? Don't understand. I didn't know this right, but when I, when I, you know, as we all know, I'm going to be doing the Dodge Charger. I didn't realise really? that... When you're doing that, mate. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it when it turns up. <laughs> I will. I've kept this I didn't, quiet. <laughs> I know. I didn't... It's, it's like Dad getting Fester... Uh, getting Fester hug, getting Mum a mama Fox hug. He's had a Fester hug as well. Well, yeah, everybody's had a Fester hug. Yeah. You like the clap. You can't get rid of you. I know. That's because they did. They ganged up on me at E models because they knew I couldn't run away. Yeah, well, there is that advantage. Yeah, we just circled him. We, we circled the wagons around him. He's like, oh bugger! I had to concede defeat, and you know, all right then, just make it quick. Just, go, just get it over with. <laughs> I felt violated. I did. Violated. Show show me on the doll where the people touched you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I did. I didn't know this right, but one eight scale part. Uh, start this again. One eight scale cars as part works is a massive thing. Yes, there's loads of them. Yeah. Like not uh, on fan home at the moment, though, is there? Not well. No, there's there's one on fan home, but fan home is purely for like licensed pop culture stuff. Yeah, but there's like you know Diagostini model space and. Um, 
uh, Hachette, and there's Agora models, and there's a load of French ones that you will have never heard of. Yeah. I was watching one channel today, and he was, he, it's a channel that does a lot of builds up, a build up to these things, and he's building a uh, um, Peugeot 309. Yeah. It's just like a, a normal Peugeot car, like from yeah. the 80s. Not like a racing car, or a, it's just, no. just a. It was just like it's like built. Yeah, it's like, it's like the Volkswagen Cabriolet, isn't it? The Beetle. Um, oh no, but that's a classic. But the Peugeot three and was just a car, like the like the like the Volkswagen Golf or the Ford yeah. Escort. And it's, yeah, there's a part work of it, and it's like about one eighth scale cars. Seems to be a thing. But you tell me, right? If the Agostini released a Mark III Cortina. I'd be all over it like stink on a torn torn. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you know the one I mean. Oh. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd be torn because I can't afford it. But if I can get it free, that'd be great. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, yes, yeah, so this is one eighth cars. Now, I don't want to make Sarah Jane suddenly spend a lot of money. But there are oh, some. There that are Ferrari. Some, free yeah, one two. Yeah. There are some very small scale, as in very large. Part works of race cars. Yes. Formula One cars. Oh yes, I may have uh, been on there earlier because um, <clears throat> I had a reply. Oh, have you? Yes. Oh. Gone, gone, to the market, gone to the marketing department. Oh, I haven't heard back from Hachette yet, but. So. See, I told you. So. Uh, I told you yeah. get a reply. But there's not much really that I can do because there's not a larger variety, is there? What on model space? On Fanon. Oh, is it Fanon you've heard from? Yeah. Oh right, right, right. No, not at the moment. But I might I'll get more. Uh, I might contact the other one as well. Are you are you publicly announcing it now, or are you not publicly announcing anything now? Uh, not right. now. Not until it's formalised. Confirmed. Cool. But yeah, once I get confirmation, then obviously I'll sort something out. So. Told you, told you. You never know. It's only gone mm. to the marketing and they'll get back to you, that type of thing. But oh, that's it's, right. it's You've heard hard. something, and that's cool. At least they've taken the time. They haven't said no yet. So. Yeah. Fan Home's a new venture, so they'll be, they'll be keen to get as much PR as they can from anybody. Yeah. And oh, to be uh, perfectly frank, for any, any company like that, the cost of sending you a thousand pound of part work is nothing compared to the cost of hiring a PR agency. Yeah, absolutely. Not only that, if they get bites off of it and people sub taking out subscriptions because yeah. of what us idiots are doing, they're going to laugh. And yeah. laugh it's like, they? well, I can I can sacrifice a thousand pounds worth of product for this guy to make videos for the next two years, or I can pay an advertising agency a hundred thousand pounds for one print advert. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which yeah, one you're going to do? Yeah. Because Eagle Moss as well, they've been back in touch, and that's gone to oh, their yeah. marketing department for another thing that I, mm -hmm. I've mentioned it to you before. Yeah. So again, once once things are further down the road, I'll be able to say something. Mm. Well, there was there was a possibility that obviously you know I'm doing the Dodge Charger. Oh, uh, are you? When are you starting I, that, mate? Are you? Know, first, I saw news to me this, mate. Well, I'll be starting it just after Dad gets a hug from Mama Fox. Yeah, you get this quiet. I know, I never thought. I don't like to tell people about it, you see. I'm quite <laughs> sure. But, uh, you know, Dad's not here, so I can do Dad's routine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, so I'm doing that, but there was a possibility of me doing something else as well, but that's yeah. not really confirmed. It doesn't seem to be happening at the minute, so. Yeah. It's just the Dodge Charger for now, which is fine. I'm not complaining about that. I can't wait to get going on it, though. Yeah, but it's up your street, that, isn't it? Because, like you well, say, it's the first time you've done a muscle car. Well, that's the weird thing. I've got no interest in the Fast and Furious. No. I've never watched them. But I, I, I can't say that I don't go a little bit weak at the knees when I'm presented with a great, big, dirty, big muscle car. Yeah. I don't know anything about cars. I can't tell the difference between a track rod end and a spare wheel. Yeah. I wouldn't know. You know if, I wouldn't know... I wouldn't know a track red end if it kicked me up the ass, but I don't have to talk about cars. I can just build the damn thing. Absolutely. <laughs> I can appreciate something without knowing how the hell it works. So, But yes, Sarah Jane, have a look online. 
I know the kind of cars you like. There are things like rally and race cars and Formula One cars in part works in like one eighth scale. And yeah, I'm pretty you got the sure. GT. There's a GT40, but that's not a race car. Would that yeah. would, would she be into that? Oh uh, yeah, it was the Le Mans. It was the Le Mans full GT40. Yeah, there is a one eight scale, one eighth oh. scale. You've got the um... oh god, I've had it on the tip of my tongue. Then it's got a tip you've got on the Ferrari hand. 312 uh, diecast. That's one eight scale. Yeah, I don't mean I don't mean like just die cast. I mean like proper part works there. Yeah, yeah, proper part works. You know, assembly part work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's quite a few. Hmm. I was just a bit because I never thought about that, but I didn't know that one eight scale cars was such a big thing. But you get then you get things like like little Peugeots from like nineteen sixty five, little nineteen sixties Peugeots and yeah. and little Renault four four door family cars and things. It's like just normal cars as well. It's quite quaint. Quaint, isn't it? Yeah, and then you get like the Ecto World, which is like five and a half feet long, and you're like, Jesus Christ. Bitty, 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 bitty. Try not to smack your head on the boom on the cob. Smack your head up? What are you doing now? Are you down below the desk again? No, no, I'm not. I'm. Where are you? Okay. Oh, I'm there. I was you... reaching my box. Are you assembling? Yeah, yeah I'm building that. How you get, I've not been watching how you're getting on, what you're doing, what you're doing, what you're doing. What you're doing. Uh, uh, I've done a bit of that and a bit of Ooh. that, a bit of that and a bit of gunnage. <laughs> not attaching the gunnages or this side until I've painted. Until pentilarity has in, in, in occurred. Uh, the roof will be magnetised on. Oh yeah. Because I'm going to be doing modifications. And I'm just doing the, uh, the sides bins. there now. Get that bit of plastic off there. Do you know that four three two in the corner of your workbench? That's like we all know somebody in years gone by who had a knackered old uh, Escort RX whatever. Yeah. On the driveway and the paint had faded and the cab the cabriolet roof had got ripped and it's just sat there gathering rust or yeah. falling apart for twenty years. Is that what that four three two is doing? It's it's one of those works in progresses. I've got a load of it on the runners there. It's mm. been in primer for ages. It, so it's, it just. It's, some it, assemblies, but yeah. It just strikes me like like one of those one of those cars up on his drive where it just sits on the drive, be rusting away for no, years. No, it's every time I've gone to do the, the detail work, I've had the bad shakes and ah. yeah. So it it's, it's one of those where I do a bit. Yeah, I do a nerves. bit on it, and then it gets left for a bit, and then I do a bit more, and it, it will get finished. It's the thing is, every time you try and work on it, the spirit of dad gets involved. You can yeah. see him like telepathically peering over your shoulder. Yeah, but I've been filming it on all, see, and none of it's released yet because I've yeah. done it as a an archive video that I'll be putting on a schedule when I have my surgery. Mm -hmm. So the four three two will suddenly disappear off the bench because it's finished. Boink, gone. Yeah. But, uh, what people don't know is if you say four three two backwards three times, Dad appears. Yes, I've got I've got a couple of figures for it. Oh yeah, uh, resin figures, and one of them may may end up having a, a little fag grafted on it. And it Is one of the Rupert? Yeah, lent against the back door, having a fag. So, yeah. are you doing are you doing it perhaps on its front wheels? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm so tempted because he infamously done that, didn't he? Yeah. For those that don't know, yeah, um, when he was doing his training, he was asked to do an abrupt stop, and he literally did one, and the whole thing went right up on the front of the tracks and slammed back down, and apparently the guy had a bit of whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> well, what an emergency stop. We got an emergency stop. Absolutely. When I bang my head on the dashboard, Dad was a bit of a tear away in the army. Isn't yeah. It? It's the quiet ones you've got to watch, though, isn't it? Yeah. Always the quiet ones you've got to watch. Yeah. It's like we're like five-year-olds. Oh, what I mean by that, What I mean by that is we're the five-year-olds and our significant others or better halves are like the parents. It's only when they can't hear us that they need to worry. Yeah. When they can hear us, they can just ignore it because they can just leave us to get on with it. 
Uh, and he can't hear us. Hands are saying, oh, more on the figures, Colin. Yeah, these are little figures from alpineminiatures.com. And they're tiny little figures that are going to go with the build. One would hope 135th scale to match the... Uh... Uh, yeah, these were sent over with the build uh, oh, by cool. Vincent over in Belgium. Oh, that's all. So, uh, yeah, and you've got like the, the little... Wait, you mean Vincent's the... not Dutch? He's got the helmets and all of that lot. And, yeah, so you've got a geezer with his hand up. So he's obviously the Rupert, and you're going to have a geezer there just lent there against the side door. And this is the bloke who's going to have the fag on. So it's going oh, to yeah. be dad lent yeah, there with one boot resting on the other going, shut up, you sweat. Yeah, if anyone's, got the, if anyone's doing any kind of pointing or gesturing, that has to be the Rupert. Yeah, so, yeah, that's what they're going to be. But, yeah, Vincent, um, Mr. Lost Model Making, kindly sent this over because I built, I built a few years ago, no, more than a few years ago, uh, a Conqueror tank here with Berlin camera on it. Oh, yeah. Um, again, that got rivet counted to hell because people kept saying, oh, the Conqueror was never in Berlin camo. And Sergeant Bones, bless him, found a photograph of one that had been mocked up in Berlin camo. <laughs> and Vince sent me that over so that I could do this in Berlin camo to go with the Conqueror as a pair. Conqueror. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, uh, JC Bricks and Bills. Yeah, uh, mentions something which I put in one of our private chats to Ted actually, Agora who do uh, part works. Yes, uh, he had an email from them. They've just announced their one. Get this right, one sixteenth scale leopard tank. <gasps> Holy moly! It's remote Sarge. control. It's fully right. remote control. Yeah, it's got uh, fully working tracks. It's got flippy flappy panels. It's got yeah. dude. It's got moving gun lights and everything, and even smoke stacks that come out the back. <gasps> Out the exhausts, and it's one sixteen scale. Oh, Sarge, yeah. Are you doing that jittery hands, girly yep. squeal? Yep. Uh, you Agora, are. and I, I didn't know who Agora were because I, I, I saw the mention. Like, who the hell is Agora? I know, I know, Fan Home and Diagostini. I know. Oh uh, yeah. I know. Um, you know, Hashat. Yeah, Eagle Moss. Uh, Eagle Moss, and there's a couple of other small ones, but I've never heard yeah. of Agora. And apparently, Agora is the guy. Is the name of the guy that set up Model Space. Yes. Diagostini. He set up model space with Diagostini and then left after about 10 years and went to set up his own thing. Yeah. And he said, he said, my goal with Agora is to give you a part work without the problems of stopping a production run halfway through or not getting all your packages. And I'm thinking, a little bit of bitterness there I'm detecting. Uh, yes. But then bizarrely, he's also, he's doing, he's doing like a couple of rebadges from like the Diagostini uh, 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 Terminator. Yeah. And the um, was it Hachette and the the, the uh, Bismarck? Oh yeah, the Hachette was the Terminator. Yeah. Yeah. So he's doing a couple of rebadges of some ones, but he's often his own. They've got like a, I think they've got a Shelby Cobra, which looks quite nice. Oh nice. And now this Leopard Tank, one sixteen scale Leopard Tank. Sixteen scale Leopard Tank. Cool. Yeah. That that'll do well. That one. Well, the thing about it, the part works typically come out about a grand. Yes. And how much is a Tamiya one sixteen scale Abrams tank without remote control? About a grand. About a grand. That's without the remote control. Yeah. So, yeah. This is why Colin, I went for the Ross type. Dan Kramer says, Colin, get that leopard and then orchify the crap out of them. Oh, yeah, could you imagine? Oh. Sarge, uh, Sarge says, I would rather hear about a full interior leopard 2A6 because I can get access to one thanks to my son being in the German army. Oh, good shout. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, I heard that Colin says, Dad. What's that? I don't know. You're probably talking about Dad. Lynn says 432 uh, was mentioned. Yes. Um, the um, calling the Rupert in the background, the twat. Uh, Sarge says that Tamiya M1 Abrams is more like 1,400 quid. Still yeah, not so, bad. People, so people complain about like the cost of things, like part works. It's like, yeah, but look at some things that cost more than that, like that Tamiya M M1 Abrams. It's not even remote control, and it's 1,400 quid. But there is a remote control version one, which costs even more, I think. If I remember right, I could be wrong. Maybe it is remote control. I don't know. I'm doing cleanup now. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me questions that I don't know the answers to. I don't know. Asking me all these questions about things that I don't understand. Uh, Panzer says, yeah, I remember that one. Many years ago, Jack Astini did the HMS Victory. 
Uh, it was a knockoff of the Artisan Latina kit. I never knew that. There probably is a bit of recycling going on. See, I'm surprised that the Partwork Brigade haven't done a part work of something like the Space Shuttle or, you know what I mean, something along them lines. Because well, I think that would be a seller. Yeah, but I suppose that's part of it. Is probably they've got to get the they've got a real they've got to try to. They probably have lots of ideas, but they need to make sure it's going to be a, a constant seller. No, no, it's probably and, and licensing reckon, as well. Yeah, there's licensing, but I reckon you think everybody's got models of the shuttle. I don't think that's a problem. NASA's not going to say no to money, are they? No. But um, I think a shuttle would be good. But I suppose they've got to also consider what they can feasibly manufacture and stuff. It's the 60th anniversary of the Apollo missions, isn't it? This year. Uh, 69. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. It's something that's the 60th 50, anniversary. It was 50th last year, so. Yeah. It's the... Uh, or is it the know. 60th anniversary of the first man in space? There's something that's an anniversary. I can't think what it is now. 19... Was... Oh, hang on. Yeah, was it... Was, um, was, it Gagarin? was Yuri Gagarin in 1961? It might have been. New from Diagostini, this one six scale model of Yuri Gagarin in 5,000 parts. Cool, that's a good one, Dan. Dan Kramer says, I want someone to pick up that Hashet 1350 uh, space battleship Yamoto. It needs, it needs my preciousness. <laughs> uh, oh, no, it's not a space battleship Yamato, it's just the battleship Yamato. It's the World War II battleship Yamato. Yeah, no, he's he's written it down as the one three fifty of space battleship motor, just above the hands of cupcakes. Who's put that? Dan Kramer. Uh, yeah, he wants someone to pick it up. All oh, right, no, there's they don't do a space battleship Yamato. No, no, it's it's the doing. World War Two battleship Yamato. I know the, the Hachette one. But he's saying that it would be yeah. nice if someone did one. Yeah. Yeah, God, imagine if there was a part work of the battle space battleship Yamato. Oh, oh yeah. Could you imagine a part work of a proper, you know, massive scale articulated Gundam? Ooh. Like you one know? one thirty fifth scale. Yeah. I mean there are one thirty fifth scale Gundams, but they're like uh made by third parties, they're all resin and stuff. Yeah. But there's but, something hyper detailed, you know, that yeah. Yeah, if it's going to be a part work, they'd have to do like a unicorn Gundam to get like a million issues out of it. I saw yeah. a thing today where a guy was making a part work of a car. Oh, right, no, yeah. Oh, no, no. It was the build-your-own Spitfire thing from Hachette. Oh, right, yeah. And I swear, taking the piss completely, this is. Like, he got, he said, here's issue 51. Now, here's the magazine, here's the bit you get with it, and it's this spring. And yeah. he says, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at it, I'm going to put it over there, and now we'll move on to issue 52, because that's literally all you have to do. And if you look in the magazine, the step one is, check you've got this spring. Step two you've got this spring that's it you don't even install it you just oh my like, that's kind okay. yeah that's really killer, the entire building step is to just check that you've got the thing that came in that's just taking the mickey and the next one was like put this sticker on this thing step complete really Talk yeah about there milk. was uh, a that's couple of episodes a bit. like that with the rossi bike where some of the parts were stored in a safe place until an upcoming edition when you need to attach it so it sits there in the bag neglected and forgotten for months on him yeah but it's like were there anywhere that was the only thing you received there's literally nothing to do oh yeah um, uh no not that i know of not that i can remember yeah because I, I couldn't believe it's literally the step was they had two steps one get it out of the bag two look at it yeah that, that was it i'm like that that is taking the piss now i'm yeah, not paying 4.99 for a magazine that's just got nothing to do that's ridiculous yeah yeah so, some quite, of them I'm, do stretch it a bit don't they yeah, I was amused by that. I know who you're on about. I watch him as well. Yeah, I quite like his channel. I'm not going to name names because it's not really polite to name names. But in somebody else's channel, but that's right. What you like, mate? Open no. forum. Hey, what? It's open forum. This show, mate. Yes, I know, but I don't like to right. publicise other people that are in competition with you and me. Oh, indirectly. Nice. Because screw them, they're the competition. <laughs> See, we don't need to send to people. Me. We don't need to send people to watch their nonsense when they can watch our nonsense quite nicely. Thank you very much. Yeah, educate investor less than fifty-one. Less than fifty-one. Hate everyone who does the same thing as you. <laughs> yes. 
yeah so i don't i could if i had the money i'd get into part works and if i had the space i mean i've got no idea i'm going to put this x-wing when it's done whenever when it gets to the point of putting the wings on the x-wing i'm going to have to all these eight all these hobby zone units here i'm going to, have to move them every yeah. time i fill i mean i did the rossi one because i packed up smoking yeah uh, oh, my yeah. wife said you know you've packed up smoking the money you would have spent reward yourself wait hang on hang on you've given up smoking for like thousands of years yes how long's that rossi thing been going on three years really yeah how many issues are there well i've got another big delivery coming i've counted the issues mate yeah, it's normally only 100 issues isn't it for a part work yeah we well, yeah, get like I've one a month or something. No, not even that, mate. It's been one every few months. But don't forget, COVID. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, it's yeah, been on true. fire. So, you know, I've had only two deliveries in the last 18 months. That's true. That's yeah, true. No, I, suppose, no. I, mean, I suppose I started my X-Wing in 2019. So. Yeah, I got a nice email off them saying, look, you know, we'll just send everything out in the one parcel so you can finish it off. I'm like, yeah, I don't mind. There has been a pain, you know, the world been on fire. It's not a problem. Yeah, we'll kind of let you off that bit a bit. So, yeah, it don't bother me. But, I mean, yeah. I'll be building it and then it's going to get dismantled a bit because I want to put sound in and, and additional yeah. bits. So, Roar. Yeah, it's going to be slightly festerized. Oh, a slight update, by the way. Yes. Uh, I don't know if it was Sarge who last week or on Wednesday was appalled that I had only downloaded the sounds for a Chevy Caprice. To use yes. for the video for the for the Dodge Charger. Yeah, it was. Uh, and he sent me to freesound.org to get the Fodge sound effects. All right, yeah. Uh, and it has actually been. Free, uh, I, I realised afterwards because I went to to Freesound. It was actually Freesound that I got the Chevy Caprice from. Oh, was it? Uh, and I hadn't no, spotted the Fodge, so I have now downloaded the Fodge sound effects. And he actually meant to type Fodge because it is a 1940 Fodge. It's a Dodge um, rat rod. Yeah. custom car so i've got those sounds now so when i show when i do any car sounds on the stream it'll be a mixture of the fodge and a plymouth roadrunner yeah. because they're the two they're the two best muscly sounding cars because all the other sounds i could find were like really tinny like they recorded it on a on a potato phone or something yeah and i want no i want deep bassy throaty boom uh jc bricks and build is saying there Oh, uh, what was he saying? It's jumped. Oh, uh, the there's 24 packs and around four issues stages per pack. What's this? I don't know. He was just what? answering something. 24 oh, packs. Uh, yeah. I don't know what we're talking about there. What? Which part of work is that? That's it. I've kind of forgotten. Let's just have a look. Scroll that. The one thing you have to kind of kind of do in chat like this is you kind of have to refer to things all the time because once it's gone off the top of the chat nobody can see it <laughs> especially us who look at the chat once in the blue moon <laughs> uh, uh, oh he's talking to me yeah he was talking to you yeah um i guess we're talking about the tank or something could well be yeah oh was, was it the battleship oh no that's lynn dipple Dan says there is Fox. Look at DHD Galactic models. He's building it. What a, a, a part work space battleship Yamato. Is that what we're talking about? I've lost. Yeah. Have we got. We all got oh, confused yeah. now. Yeah, James was saying yeah for Collins bike. Yeah. Okay, it gets confusing because when we talk about stuff, it's like half a minute later that you guys pick up on chat. So yeah, I don't know if Dan now means there is a space battleship Yamato. Uh, yeah, no, James. James. Oh, he does say the fracking Yamato. I shall look at that then. Mm. I didn't know there was a part work of a space battleship Yamato from Hachette, no less. I need to contact Hachette and say, dude, um, I can't, I've nowhere to build it, but can you send it to me for anyway? Thanks, bye. Sarah Jane, with the pace Fox works at a magazine, he'll be adequate. <laughs> and then Panzer says, Sarah Jane's really, Sarah Jane says, Sarah Jane is, sorry, Panzer says, Sarah Jane is really annoyed at Fox. I, I've not done anything bad. I'm not a bad man. Why am I getting all the grief? Yeah, Lynn, I've spotted it. What's that? Lynn says, I've sent a link. I've sent a link. Look up above. Yes, Lynn, I said, <laughs> I've spotted it. There is a link. To what? Oh, I'll stop what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's go and find the link. 
<laughs> space, space battleship Yamoto. She's just put Fox. Check it out. I can't really check it while I'm really exactly. Screwed. But Lynn was yeah. All right. What is it? I what is it? Hashtag. I've sent a link. Oh, I shall have a look in a bit. I didn't realize. I, I, I know that somebody's got a part work of the battleship Yamato. Yeah. But I didn't realize you're doing one of the space battleship Yamato. That's it. That's epic. I stand corrected quite happily on that. We, we kind of said this to him earlier, but he wouldn't have it. Who said it to me? What? I did. When no. I said, when I said, Dan Kramer is on about space, a battleship, you know, and you're like, no, you can get this, you can only get that. No, that's what, I, at first I thought, I thought he was mistakenly typing uh, space, because I know there was a battleship, Yamato. Uh, I stand corrected. There you go. Apologies to all involved. <laughs> Apologies. I shall investigate that. Absolutely. I can try and figure out how to get one free it. from Hachette. <laughs> if anyone will get one free, it will be you. You know that. Yeah, I don't know. I contacted Hachette to see if I could get the uh, Warhammer Imperium set. All oh, right, yeah. You know, on the free so I can film it yeah. as a YouTuber. Uh, but I've not heard back. But I didn't realise it's not due to actually kick off till like next year. Yeah, some of them are sort of already up there, but again, so they like, announced a lot of this pre pre pandemic, didn't they? So, yeah, it's probably like why well, I haven't heard back from them because it's like, yeah, we're actually going live till next year. Oh, yeah, really? okay. I put the link for the space battle supply in Messenger. Apparently, it's only available in Japan. Oh, in that case, yeah. it's a, okay, right. That makes sense because I did wonder why Hachette will be doing a space battle should be Yamato yeah. when the only place that knows about it is mostly US and Japan. I would have thought there would be a way of snaffling one over, though, wouldn't there? Oh, yeah, that, you pay for it. Is that licensing? Well, I'm going to guess it's probably a lot of metal and, like, very heavy. Yeah. There's places that can ship it for you, like, you know, storage crates and stuff. They can yeah. reship, but it'll cost you a fortune. It probably won't be Yeah, worth it. one million and the eleventy twelve pounds, please. Dan says, I don't know if you'd want to build it, Fox. It's packed with electronics, fibre optics and wiring. Yeah, screw that. Yeah, you know what you'd do, though, Dan? Carl, what's that, Fox? Couldn't do us a favour and sling this together for me. Well, the thing what? is, <clears throat> if it is simply a case of here's a wire clearly labelled, plug it yeah. in there, plug it in there, done. That's yeah, it. A lot of them are like that, mate. To be honest. Yeah, if it's plug and pl if it's like make a circuit board and attach all these chips, then it could just go and die in a fire. Yeah. But if it's like here's a circuit board, take this wire, take wire B, connect it. Yeah, yeah but you'll find this with the Dodge Charger. It's literally plug and play. That's how they are. Yeah, well, I mean, literally, it's got headlights, tail lights, yeah. indicators, and I think I think there's a sound speaker yeah. in it. But, you'll get um, a wire that's got one written on it. You've got a terminal yeah. that's got one. Well, it's like the X-Wing, isn't it? Number one into number one. That I can do. I think it was it Frank who goes Hobbywood said that the sound end is a bit crap. Yeah. Because he's building it. Yeah. That's the funny thing, right? I was looking it up on the YouTubes, and all the content is German. Yeah. Which is no help to me at all, trying to figure out how good this damn thing is. Yeah, but don't forget, Frankie goes to Bob. Would you can always ask him to translate, can't you? Well, I could do the I, I, translate. You know, I, I, I can do Google or to translate, but it's kind of ropey. But it's all like German or Italian or Russian for the Dodge Charger because it's the typical thing that comes out in the it UK. Could be last. worse. You could go on Google Translate, and it could be me doing the translation. How would <laughs> yeah. that work? The guy said in French. The guy says, "Now we attach this using this attachment point here." Fester's version. Get a bit of glue. Put it there. It'll stay in place. Got a tit on it. Absolutely. You know this. Now we stick it there because it's got a tit on it. You'll know where to put it. Can't miss it. You know where to put it because it says in the magazine, you nons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Perhaps it's a good thing that I don't do the commentary, then, mate. Yeah, probably. Uh, that goes on top of all, and that goes on there. So I'll put that. Ooh, build the wings as well. Right, yeah. Habit of boo boo boo. Muttering, muttering. I don't want to build too much though, because I need something to do next week. Yeah, that's the downside of some of these builds. They are so simple that you can just get carried away and build everything. You know what I'm like, mate. I just grab bits, glue it together. Yeah. But having said that, you finishing the kit is not you finishing the build. By any oh. short term of the word. Uh, no. No, no. No, no there's no. modifications and additions. And... He's like, have you finished? Oh, no, 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 no. 
Oh no, not Fudge at all. No, no. No, oh, fudge. Well, yeah, because I, I, I will be um, printing off some additions for this during the week. So, got a bit of fat lint to do. Turrets to add. Uh, all kinds of gubbins that I'm going to be adding on there. He's back. There he is. I was just about to say you hadn't dropped out the knife. Isn't that weird? Shut up. Don't tempt the wrath of the whatever from high atop the thing. You know how it works. Yeah. I thought he's doing really well there. He's not dropped out. I think straight away he went. Oh, crap, tackle on. I went to get a plastic bag from my little stash of stuff under the desk. Yeah. And I pulled the plastic bag out, but it was a plastic bag with a million squishy pipettes in it, and they all fell out. Oh, no. Into my cardboard box of many things. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's my job it's tomorrow. Just me, it happens. Too. No, that'll be my job tomorrow morning to go and find all the pipettes and put them all back in the damn bag. Yeah, we're going to be stepping on them now for days. Yeah. <laughs> It's come to that time, you know, our build's almost done when it has to go into plastic bags to get stored oh, yeah. away till painting time. Yeah, I must admit, I've got to get some little storage boxes because I've got that for shat rear to do. Yep. And I want to sort of have it all in the little sections in the little tubs. and yeah. Little tubs. Get all the little bean tubs. nubbing done and all of that gubbins. Dim, 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 dim. I've lost Sir Hector's. Oh, there he is. So you're doing your Skyrim tomorrow then, mate? I Skyrim Saturday. Well, I've got an action-packed week, weekend this weekend because uh, I seriously need to... I've, I've filmed and uploaded Mondays and Tuesdays X-Wing episodes. I need to oh, do right, yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I haven't even filmed them yet. Ah, oh, right, so, so a bit of catching up to. Yeah, That's so, why you've got to get up early, isn't it? Yep, yeah, all this weekend and, and throughout the start of next week I've got to start filming. My plan was to, like, like I can do maybe four or five episodes in a couple of days and get them uploaded. Yeah. That's a week's worth of videos, then, and once yeah. a month I can do that. But I'm yes. working my way through the 15 backlog. Yeah. On top of which I've received another five now. And this is the big bunch more... you've got up to speed. You'll be able to, to manage it, won't you? Yeah, once a month will be fine, but that's the tricky bit. It's the once a month when they're yeah. up to speed at the moment. It's still like, it's taken me a couple of weeks now. I need to get it done and dusted. Because I've yeah. got other things I need to be getting on with. So This is where my Rossi bikes faltered, because obviously with the delays, it's spent a lot of time just sitting there part built. You know, and yeah. you want to get on, because you've got other projects you want to do, and bits and bobs. And... Yeah. Uh, where am I? Well, I'm kind of hoping that the, the three issues I've got and then the next five aren't yet taking my bench apart to film it because that's a pain. Yeah. I need to wait till it's a better time because I've got to get me Lehman Rust done and then do other things. Oh, yeah. You know what'll happen though. They'll What's say, you couldn't, you couldn't do a Millennium Falcon for us, could you? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. No. No, I can't. Do, that one is too big for the bench. Yeah. But that's not fan home anyway. That's not on there yet. The X wing and the the X wing and the Falcon are on there. Because Chris is redoing another in Jimmy Cawley, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Bless him. Aye. Well, it's all right. It's free. He's not going to say no. Oh, not at all. It's just. Well, he, so didn't, he didn't actually film one. Wouldn't it be a bit? Oh. Well, he didn't actually film the full process on the first one round. So. Oh, didn't he? No, he didn't start until like halfway through. Oh. So yeah, it's alright for him that. It's all grist to the mill. When he's finished it, he just sell it. So Yeah. It's all grist to the mill. See when I finish this X Wing, I get it painted up and stuff. Yeah. Uh and, and my plan is that I'd sell it, but it's like how the hell would I ship that anywhere? Yeah. It cost me hundreds of pounds just to ship it. Yeah. You could always do it as a pick up. Yeah, that limits it though. I don't want I don't want, you know, chuds coming to my house. <laughs> well then do it at a collect in uh, your local you know, like Amazon do a pickup point. Yeah, I could do. It'd still be a box the size of a house. Because I have a drop box. You know, and it's just like yeah. yeah. Stuff gets put there and then uh, it goes and gets collected. That's true. Then again if if I did sell it, he'd be he'd be looking at like I don't know, a couple of grand more. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a grand for the model base, and then I do loads of painting to it. And if I bought any like third-party extra add-on parts, like a pilot or anything like that, yeah. 
you're probably looking at about two to two and a half grand yeah maybe so it mounts up what it so mounts up and it's yeah, what people so. don't realize we had this conversation in one of our streams before didn't we about commissions oh yeah you know and it, it, it's surprising that people don't always realize what's involved yeah how much stuff costs oh yeah can you do no could you just no how much would it a thousand pounds oh bye hey. it's how you weed out all the idiots basically because you always get the people saying can you just do this thing and i'll give you a tenner <laughs> no <laughs> bye how would you like it if your boss came to you and said could you just do an extra day's work and i'll pay you one pound you'd be like gtfo so, <laughs> no. yeah there are bosses out there though that still work on that premise isn't there yeah welcome to british gas yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll do this show tonight, folks, but we'll be finishing round about two ish. Yeah. Because Fox needs to get up early in the morning. All right. So we're not, we're not making this one one of our usual all night ones, but we should yeah. normal service will be possibly resumed. Yeah, plus having done one on Wednesday, it doing these yeah. late shift these late shifts, I'm like it's a job. These late streams. It, it does take it out a bit. I don't get up till like midnight the next day, basically. Because yeah. you don't get to bed till like five. So, give myself eight hours sleep. That's all right, so. mate. I'm going to have me dinner when we're done. Oh, yeah, you you operate on Festa time. It's a different thing. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to have me dinner, watch the MotoGP practice, and yeah. MotoGP. You th practice? You think they know how to do it by now? <laughs> yeah. Shall I just shut up? Yeah, I would. Is it for the best? <laughs> yeah. Notice how I had your back there and really didn't take any time whatsoever. You had my back and then jammed all the blades you could find into Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Uh, they were well. There was a bus coming, and I thought, now is my opportunity. I've got your oh, back. Have you? Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing? Corrugate. <laughs> what have you done this week? Nothing. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Right. I oh, think that's that legend thing is Dave. That arm sorted. Look at that slappy arm. Look at the hand of slappitude. Oi. Yeah, you want a dry slit, you've got one. Oh, slap. Pardon me. Although you can, give, you can give scritches to Guthorn. Scritches. <laughs> Man. Hey. Now Guthorn can have expressions. Look, hey, I don't know. What, what, what are you doing? <laughs> I now have what? the urge to give Guthorn two Imperial Knight arms. <laughs> <laughs> Guthorm looks good with an arm, don't you think? He looks good with a bit of a Warhammer arm going on. He does, he does. But you can scratch your own nose now, look. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he'll be like, yeah, I'll have me some of that. So you're going to orcify it, are you? No. When it is from orc. So I did. Wow, yes. you're not going to make me get me coat for that, surely. Uh, 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 yeah. All right, then. <laughs> That's the beauty oh. of Fester. If you put him in a corner, he's so used to say, Yes, dear, and doing what he's told that he always gives in. Absolutely. It's like, here's a punishment. Oh, I don't want to do that. Yes, you do. Okay. Oh, There's no fight in here, is there? Yeah, um, no, there isn't. Uh, <laughs> it was my it was my thirty second wedding anniversary yesterday. Oh, was it? Congratulations um, and all that. Yeah, we don't normally celebrate it on the day because the day we got married was the day of the Hillsborough disaster oh, uh, and 96 people died so there is no connection of course but uh yeah there is my brother and brother-in-law were supposed to go to the game and it caused a bit of a family fallout because obviously my mother decreed that they need to come to the wedding oh yeah so they never made the game but they would have been in that stand so it's almost like karma you know yeah. so, but cut a long story short yeah me and ellen don't celebrate on the day we normally wait till two or three days later all yeah, right i'm just 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 have a you know the car i bet your brothers out. are infinitely grateful that they did come to your wedding yeah yeah it, it is one in of hindsight those. they're like yeah, that was a good yeah, that was a good was call almost like fate wasn't it you know mm -hmm. but so yeah it, we have mixed the feeling mixed emotions on the actual day but yeah i mean my point being is that I've been with Ellen, oh, 36 years in total. Good girl. And I learned at a very early um, 
stage that it was just easier to nod and agree and concede defeat rather graciously. Instantly. Because yeah, the wife because... is Scottish. Five foot nothing of Scottish anger. Yeah. No yeah. man wants that. No. The best the best option is to instantly assume that you're wrong and just accept defeat yeah. instantly with no with no fight. Oh yeah, I mean I want to obviously clarify she's not a naggy, needy person or that type of wife. No. Um she's very, you know, understand you know, you know that she's very supportive in everything I do. But if I'm being a tit, she tells me. Yeah. At the end um, of the day, I Colin, we know that. we know how you work and therefore we can exactly know how Helen works. Yeah, absolutely. Just by virtue of knowing you, we can know exactly what Helen has to put up with. Yeah. And therefore I'm she gets all our admiration for that. Yeah, yeah, I'm a bloody nightmare. I'm afraid of <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know, and I couldn't live with myself, <laughs> you know. But, uh, yeah, I just it, give in. I try to fight. I'd lurked in the kitchen one day when I was in an hangout with Dave. I said, I'm just going to make myself a cup and see. And I opened the door and she was stood there. She went, what are you doing in my kitchen? <laughs> I said, I'm going to make a cup and No lurking, she went. And she was joking. Like Scarlet, no lollygagging. And uh, literally, like, you know, you're loitering, she says, as I was going to the fridge for the milk. I'm like, look, love, this is as fast as I can walk. <laughs> and uh, as I came in and sat down, I said to Dave, yeah, see, <sighs> That told her straight, I'm the one who wears the trousers in this house. And I realised <laughs> that I hadn't pulled the door shut. It was still wide open and she was still stood there. She, she lent her chin on my shoulder, looked at Dave and she went, no, oh, bless him, thinking he's in charge. She slapped me on the head like the Ben Hill man and then went and bloody stay there. <laughs> <laughs> I like your H idea, I really do. Never I matter. just talked, you know, and he went, yeah. I said, yeah, she can walk away. She was straight back. She went, stop trying to be all brave in front of your mate. Yeah. <laughs> it really is like a child, aren't you? Yeah, I said, all right. Lad. She said, well, you know, you've done wrong. I was like, really? Did you basically marry your mother? Oh, no, my mum's worse. <laughs> my mum's four foot eight. Tiny little lady she is. She's, what, 81 now? Um... Yeah, she can look after herself. My mum, she had to because of you know what. Yeah. Um, so even now, she thinks nothing of going out to a crowd of hoodies and telling them to politely walk away. You know what I mean? Yeah, not um, so politely. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you don't like it, I'll stick my toe in your ass. She goes, just like amble off. And I'm like, mum, <laughs> what? She goes, I can't really say stuff like that now because... One of them might have a shotgun, a knife, or whatever. Yeah, right. She said, I'd like to try it. I'm like, yeah, there's, there's no telling this woman. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, no. So, yeah, it's hereditary, mate. But it's funny. Every generation of our family, there's always been a marriage with a Helen. <laughs> there's always been a Helen in that yeah, somewhere. There's always been an Ellen in the family talking sense, you know, and it's... But no, it is the I, order of things. Marriage was the best thing I did because it pulled me on the straight and narrow. Yeah. Um, you know, I know it sounds a bit blubby and all of that lot, but yeah, you know, I worship the ground she walked on because, yeah, she puts up with me. Yeah, that, that deserves a medal for a start. We all know that. You know, because I've never done her any physical harm or anything like that, but the mental anguish I've caused her over the years... Bloody hell, she needs a medal, because I am that bloke. We do <laughs> stupid things. When someone says, do not press that large red button, or do not walk through that door, I'm the one trying the door handle and pressing the red button. It's like, Festa, don't press that button that says bees. Yeah. What? <laughs> what this one? Why? What Zip. happened? Yeah. Yeah. You are <laughs> that man. I am. As Ellen says, you're a lovable rogue. There's a word for people like you and me. Stupid. Idiot. Yeah, idiot. Yeah. Stupid. But it's Blessed actually are the children because they're too stupid to know otherwise. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, of course, my sons don't help. Because they'll sit there and go, here. What? 
I'm, I'm taking the old man out in public. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then they start encouraging me to do stuff. Because then that'll get you in trouble. Yeah, and then throw me straight under the bus when I do it. <laughs> well, this is about right. And I'll look at her and go, but they told me, no, don't blame the kids, she goes. That's lame. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's their fault. <laughs> Yeah, I like your that. boys now as well. Then, oh, they're legends, mate. Yeah. I could not honestly. I'm really, really proud of my boys. And, yeah. uh, honestly, I couldn't wish to meet two nicer blokes. They're certainly better than I was at that age. I was a toe rag, mate. But yeah, uh, no, they're really decent, well grounded folks, and I'm proud of them. Yeah. Really am. Good. You know, and that sounds even more gushy, but... You're going all blubby now, aren't you? No, not at all, you know, and it's not because they're my boys, you know, they're decent blokes. And will do anything for anyone, again, put others before themselves, you know, and... Yeah. But no, they're good blokes. They look after their mum. I always got an eye on her, making sure she's all right, and yeah, I admire them for that. Excellent. Soppy old fart. You are a soppy old fart, you soppy old fart. I don't yeah, know. You don't, <clears throat> like you say, you can't say it about a lot of people nowadays, can you? Because it's yeah. changed. Whereas you see, my children are the best children in the world. Do you know why? Because you don't have them. Because they don't exist. Yeah. And that makes them the best children ever. I could so imagine that you would be the funkiest dad in the classroom. Nope. I'd be the worst father because I'm far too... I'm far too selfish. Really? That surprises me. You don't come across that way. No, when it comes to, like, you know, my own time and stuff, giving up my time for something else, no. Oh, really? That surprises me. Yeah. Because you've Not in a bad like, way. It's just the way I am. I, I always, I've always, like, you know, I want what I want, and I, I, it's my time. Yeah. And the, the child needs feeding. Oh, but I'm just playing this game. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, but I'm on the Xbox. Yeah. So this yeah. is why I spent so long away from the hobby, because when the boys were being raised, you know, I each worked during the day, I stayed up, then I had a few hours kept, and then went on to do the night shift, you know. Yeah. So, so, you know, I didn't really have a chance to do the hobby, but also all the money went on raising the boys. Yeah. So you and go. getting them, you know, through school, into uni, and on their careers, you know. But I'm still lucky. I mean, you know, they're 27 and 25. Hmm. So I'm lucky that, you know, I'm young enough, even though they're that age, that I can now get on and do my stuff. Yeah. You know, but no, they're good blokes. They really are. Excellent. One's a film director and the other one's a barber. Oh, really? Film director? Ooh. Yeah, he's, he's won a couple of awards for some of his films. He's Ooh. looking at getting a job at a film studio, but at the moment we've the world been on fire it's it's all on hold until things calm down a bit but anything so now or do more of us like general I production or i can't say at the moment ah, oh. but um yeah so he'll be moving he'll be moving back down to maidstone so then it leaves me alone now to get beaten and bullied and cajoled by this irate scottish lady well that seems about right. <laughs> and of course, I'll, I'll I'll resist and I'll put up a good fight because yeah, you know, and all of that. He won't put up a good fight. No, I'll get I'll get beaten with an inch of my life and accept it like the wimp I am. First, as one of the few people in the world that still has a newspaper delivered every day, not to read it, just so we can rustle it and say yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it would be good. She she. <laughs> I've got to be careful because she'll be getting up soon. Yeah, she'll uh, be hearing you through the door. I know, see, because I'll, I'll be in charge, you know. Yeah, 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 but I'm whispering now. <laughs> uh, I'm not in charge, but I'm just really quiet. She may have been yattering one night, and I kind of lost interest in the conversation. <laughs> so I turned my hearing aid off. <laughs> I, uh, now that was I'm your first as, mistake. Yeah, I'm as deaf as a post in me right here anyway, so by now I could hear nothing. And I'm pretty, you know... Pretty pleased with myself, and I could see her giving it the old lips galore bit. Uh, and I'm like, Yeah, I ain't got a clue what you're saying, love. So I just started nodding, you see. And she went off smiling and quite happy with herself. And I thought, Well, that was a result. 
following week, she goes to London shopping with my boy. Oh, yeah. I come back armed to the teeth with outfits, dresses, shoes, and you name it, blah, blah, blah. Me being me, I'm like, oh, it's all this lot then. She said, well, I told you about it last week. She said, when I asked you whether you minded me using that account you've got, you kept nodding at me. She said, so I did. <laughs> 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 I bet she knew, you know. So suffice to say, the hearing aid has never been turned off again. <laughs> no, not ever. <laughs> I bet she absolutely knew as well. Oh, I reckon she did, mate. And I That's her way of yeah, getting revenge. She's like... <laughs> She's like, he's not listening to me, but I'll get my revenge by. I won't do it now. Yeah. I'll go shopping Payback. next week. Yeah, I will get in. Yeah. yeah. But she's sensible. Don't get me wrong. She didn't bankrupt us, but she made her point. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, really? But yeah. When, I think the when phrase you're looking for that. Up, it was, yeah, that would teach her. Yeah. I think the phrase you're looking for there, Colt, is that you were hoist by your own petard. Absolutely, mate. Done up like a kipper, mate. But... Yep. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Uh, Sue's asking, is Dave in? <laughs> That's aimed at you. Uh, um, me? What? Yeah, uh, we have an in joke. Um, Dave's a part of the joke, he won't mind me telling. Uh, Dave likes a bit of sanding. Oh, yeah. Whenever he's in an hangout, it's like having a pet gerbil. All you can hear is <laughs> in the background. <laughs> of course. When any of us start sanding, Sue sits there and goes, David, <laughs> of course you're sanding. And, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I've actually got my microphone set so it shouldn't pick it up unless I'm talking. So, Because what tends to happen is it'll be absolutely silent until I talk. And they're like, shh, shh, shh. Yeah. I've knocked a rivet off again, mother... F yeah, go on, go on out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so fluffer. Fox is swearing. I said fluffer. I said mother fluffer. I don't do swears. I'm a choir boy. <laughs> yeah, right. Why don't I believe you? Do you know what? I watched a video the other day. Um, it was an old Pathé News thing. Mm -hmm. And it was about this vicar in Lower, lower Throssington on the arse or whatever it was somewhere. Oh, right. Uh, and it was like in the 1960s. He's like, this is Father Blebulon who works in this, this church here in Lower Cramping on the Wold. Uh, but uh, when he's not working, he's playing with his train. He's got this massive train set. Yeah. Like a scale. And he's got like a steam train in his garden and stuff. And apparently he was the, uh, he was friends with the Reverend W.H. Audrey, who wrote Thomas the Tank Engine. All right. And yeah. was the influence for the Fat Controller. Oh, right. Yeah. But and I thought to myself, the only thing I could think was, tell you what, being this country vicar is not a bad lark, is it? Oh. You get, you get to sit there. You get a house. You get to do a little bit of work every day, write a sermon, just talk rubbish for an hour, so the locals are happy, and everything else is your total free time. You get to sit and play with your models all day. I, I'll be a vicar. I'll do that. Sign me up for this god nonsense. <laughs> I'll have a free house and endless enough money to buy all models. That'll do me nicely. Thank you. Oh, Dad's saying I have one called Magnus. I know exactly what he means. Two sex, Dad. I uh, will just stand graciously to retrieve Magnus. From his own because he's right above my head. What's this? Magnus. You ain't, have you seen Magnus in there? Oh, the puffins. Yeah, the puffin. Why are we talking about puffin? What? Because I read it out in the chat that Dad was saying that I've got one called Magnus. Oh, Kelly Graham says, I believe what's this? Dan Kramer. Dan Kramer says something. Is is Guthorm. The way Fox says it, I thought it was Guthorm. Guthorm, G U T H O R M for Mike. Oh, Guthorm was, a, was a, a Viking. King, I think, if I remember right, yeah, an Arcadian king. He's out a bit of a claim there because got a bit of dust on you, isn't he, Maggie? Yeah. There you and what's go. yours called? Magnus. Magnus, who was also an Arcadian king. He's got Paul Pyatt. Right. It's got a hat on it. It's got a tit on it. Yeah. yeah so Magnus. our friend Scott from Ork from Orkney sent us all puffins, and they've all got names of like various Arcadian or Viking princes and yarls. So mine's Guthorm Magnuson, I think, Mrs. Cern. I've forgotten that. I think it was Guthorm Magnuson. Oh, yes. You have to be very privileged to get a puff into a dot from Orkney. Yep. I've so. pinged a rivet off again. God damn it. Oh, will you lie? How many is that now? Oh, many. Rivet counter. 
So I did that. Then, but the thing is, it's not so bad because it does mean, it does mean wow, that was a whole train wreck of a sentence, wasn't it? It was a bit. Let me say all the words in a sentence all at the same time. That's not how it works. Um, it does mean that I get to put a rivet on it. Yeah. Rivet. 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 Do a barrel roll. Rivet. A thing, ain't At least one person will get that reference. No, that little puffin. I've got a few years old now, bad, isn't it? So, three years, something puff, like that. Puff, 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 puffin, puffin, all oh. the puff. Oh, I don't know what that means. You can see him, but he's there. Yeah, look, yeah. there he is. Yeah, Guthum's my little sidekick. He always sits on screen on live streams. Yeah, I should keep him down, really. Keep him down. Keep that him down. Like can... Have like this. That sounds like he's uncontrollable. Yeah, no, he sits up there looking over me. I've got Uncle Fester up there. I've got uh, Craig Mor uh, Craig Clay Morrow, even. Who's Craig Anna. Morrison? What? Uh, they're, Ed, Ed, you know, them Ed things, what they call them. The little no. pop television things. Funko you know, Pops. That's Funko out. Pops. I think that's what they're called. The one with the big flat heads. Yeah. Funko Pops. There you go. Uncle Fester. Who is he? Oh, Fester. Gonna make him a pork pie hat. Pork pie hat. Yeah. I've still got my uh, Funko Pop. I've still got a, a Space Marine anti paint yeah. at some point. I've got a Funko Pop Space Marine still. Clay Morrow from Sons of Anarchy. I don't, that looks more like Stan Lee. Uh, yeah, it's the Ron Pellman character. I don't know. Who that TV is. show. So, it looks yeah. like Stan Lee, though. Yeah, I've got a few of them up there. So. It looks uncannily like Stan Lee. Yeah, they all sit up there. Yes, I've got me, uh, I've got me Funko Pop Angry Marine. I can't get it out now, but I've got me Funko Pop Angry Marine that I painted to be an Angry Marine. So he's got some rude words on his helmet. Oh right, okay. On his armor, and I've got another blank Funko Pop Space Marine that I need to paint at some point. And I've got me, me, uh, big tall Space Marine that's like that tall. The the McFarlane toys one that I've got to paint at some point. Rivet, I did a rivet, I did a rivet. Oh, focus, rivet. Did a rivet because it's got a tit on it. It's got a tit on it, yeah, it's got a tit on it now. Oh. How have you got on, Cole? I was hoping to get something else done for uh, that. I've got this finished, me can I have got. Let's bang that in there. Where did I put the sprue? Sprue! Uh, no, yeah, that's right, I didn't cut that bit off, so I put my glue away for a minute. Uh, so far, I've built them wings. Wings, isn't it? The roof bit with a couple of them things on it. Are they the right way around? No, they're not the same. They're the wrong way around. Do you think they got right? He does mutter a lot, doesn't he? Mutter to himself a lot, doesn't he, Fester? So I don't do them. I've done them bits. Your booms. Them bits. That bit. And that lot. You basically built most of it now, haven't you? Yeah, I've just got to undo these bits because, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't paying attention and I might have stuck them on the wrong way around. <laughs> Which bits are those? The jet bits at the top on there. Oh, right. right. Oh, Should yeah. Can you, get, can you get them off again? I don't know, yeah, until I try. They have Kit been on there a little while. Kit destroyed. That'll be another That'll be another 45 quid to Games Workshop. Nah, because I'm going to be spudger in there because it's released now. Oh. It's all good. Don't forget, it's got to be occupied yet. That's true. So, folks, this is what happens when Fester doesn't pay attention. He fucks things up. <laughs> the jet's go. going the wrong way around. Sounds like you've been back. building submarines with Ted. There you go. That's how they're supposed to go round, folks. Remember this. Yeah, that's Learn what I'm going to do your one most yet. valuable lesson. Do not be like Fester. This proves mm. one good thing. Even we can mess things up. Oh, yeah. We mess things up so that you don't have to. There you go. We're hardcore professionals through and through, and we, we make mistakes. <laughs> no, we just don't pay attention. There you go. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I've done this bit super Excellent. professionally. Well done. And if you notice, so what I'd like to point out, so for those that are watching, is when you assemble, when you assemble 
Ah, I can't be arsed. <laughs> uh, when you do assemble it, make sure you get these the right way round. Is that important? But, yeah, because otherwise, if you had them round the way I did, it's going to fly in reverse, which probably would have worked because it's all. But, yeah, that sounds plausible. That sounded good. Because yeah, I know you weren't going to mention it, because you never mention it anyway, normally. No, so. there's the gloves that I should have worn the other day. There's the scratchy rag. Uh, well, I'm my night's in the bag. Me. Imperial right. night's in the bag. There's the, there's the rag. Look at that. What's wrong with that? It's not so much a rag as a... It looks yeah, like underpants. That's, that's it's like a leg hole. It's raggy. It's raggy. Yeah, you leave them alone. That's a really useful bit of old rag. <laughs> it probably contains organisms. Honestly, I was tempted to send it to some kind of laboratory place to get it swapped just to see what may or may not be working. My computer's done the test. It comes back and says it's Fester's rag. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, Paul Di Tommaso is in. Hello, Hi, Paul. Paul. All right, mate. You're doing your usual, ain't you? Turning up just as yep. we're about to go up there. Everybody's saying happy anniversary to you. Oh, thank you, everyone. That means a lot. I will pass uh, on your sentiments to my lovely, endearing wife. Mm -hmm. In a similar vein, I think, remember that Dad has a puffin named Ragnarveld. That's right. Uh, is that his name? I can't remember what it was called. No, Ragnar. Was it? Was it uh, Ragnar? Oh, burpage. All I can taste is curry rice chips and sausage. Well, we ordered, we ordered Chinese for takeout for dinner, but we both decided on curry rice and chips, just being really scroty and, you know, mid and suburban. But I ordered curry rice and chips and two sausages. Yeah. What I got was curry rice and chips and 18 sausages. Oh. I don't know why. <laughs> was you suitably full? I was like, here's the curry rice and chips, here's some sausages, here's some more, and here's some <laughs> more. I says to Mama Fox, I went... We've got like 18 sausages. <laughs> I don't even know how they did that. So there's an enormous pile of chips up sausages downstairs. Yeah, so when I burp, all I can taste is sausages. Oh, bless. So yeah, it's a good bits, burp. And that, that's as far as I can really go today, to be honest. Mm. Uh, it's, Dad says that Chris's puffin is called Paul. That was it. I was trying to think what his name was. Paul, yeah. And the funny thing is, they're all named after like Danish or uh, Orcadian jarls and princes and things. But yes. so is Paul. It's it's just it, the guy was called Paul Ziggerson yeah, or something I'm like scared. that. Paul Stewart is still convinced it's named after him, and in his mind, that's it, that's the truth. Yeah, because I because I said, why is it called Paul? Is it because of Paul? No, it's actually Paul Ziggerson or something. But it just happens yes. to be Paul. His best mate just happens to be called Paul. Yes. Paul Stewart, absolute legend he is. But it was named after a, a, the usual convention of a. Dan Kramer yeah. says, "Wow, it's a hole with a frame, not the rag." <laughs> 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 oh, there's Collins Blanky says Lynn. I know there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> it is a bit scuzzy, I must admit. Paul De Tomaso says, "Man, if I have to send you a bunch of new microfiber cloths, I will." <laughs> I've, I've, I've put it away now, but I ordered this week. I've ordered some for my Dodge Charger in advance. I've ordered some three in one oil. Yeah. And a couple of floofy, 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 floofy microfiber cloths. One for the putting down to work on, and one for the polishing and buffing. Well, that rag has been thrown in the bin once before by she who must be obeyed. Mm. And I might have got it back out again and returned it to the man cave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nothing gets thrown out from the man cave unless the man cave determines it's no longer useful. Absolutely. That very rarely happens. I'm doing what you're doing because you're teaching me. I forgot this is what this thing is actually for. Oh, yeah, that's when you send us, mate. I know. I, I, I didn't realize when I got this, Kenneth sent it. I didn't tell me what it was when Kenneth sent it. I just got it. So I'm like, what is it? I'm looking at it thinking, well, what is it? And I thought, maybe it's just a thing for catching the bit. When So I use it as a little thing to sand and, and file on top of. Kenneth's like, why are you doing that? You're supposed to just like wipe your sanders on it. I'm like, I didn't know. I just got a black mat that didn't have any instructions. Yeah. <laughs> so I found a use for it. But it's great. You can do like, sanding on it. Yeah, it works really well when you know what it's there for. Yeah, if you do the sanding, it just keeps all the dust and sand on it, which is quite Brilliant, cool. mate. Most handy. Wow. 
Because what did we used to do? We used to rub it straight across our leg on our jeans. Yeah, and then we'd have to spend half an hour getting all the dust and crap off the workbench. Absolutely. Um, Which was pain in arse. The amount of clothing where my missus has said to me, right, we're going out. You're putting your going out clothes on. Yes, love. Do not, under any circumstances, go into your man cave dressed in your going out stuff. All That's right, love. She made the mistake again, didn't she? Yeah, what happens as soon as she goes upstairs to get ready, I'll just nip and just try this, and you end up with a bit of glue or a giveaway speck of paint or dust <laughs> on you. Yeah. And you'll be out, and it'll be, did you go in your man cave? No. no. And that little fleck of something that is identifiable as man cave stuff gives you away. Yeah. Yeah. You mean like you mean like a spit propeller or something? Yeah, or a decal stuck to you. <laughs> yeah, <or> decal. <laughs> That's yeah. my normal one. You know, decals of goodness get stuck to me. You don't be in the man cave now. So why is there a Messerschmitt wheel on your lapel? Um, <laughs> yeah. So it's, 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 it's a badge. It's a it's, absolutely i know you've been in there because you've got a shuttle solid rocket booster stuck to your ass oh again oh sorry but i'm still gonna be cruel oh is that just like an initial coat or what or oh yeah that? that's just a mist that was me uh playing with me paint because i i'm airbrushing the base down so i thin the paint down a bit just to look see what the ratios were like so i had mm. two different consistencies consistencies is that the citadel yeah uh, yeah citadel it's what is it avaland 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 sunset that's a really nice base color sort of a, a warm yellow if you yeah. want it to be a bright are you wanting it to be a bright yellow or a, a bold yellow or just no like well, i want it to look like a knackered all looted thing that was sprayed yellow many campaigns ago and it's been tarted up over the years. Yeah, There's going to be a few good. bits painted in other clans' livery because That's it's been cool. and they ain't got round to painting that bit yet. Yeah. Some bits in Space Marine colours and all kinds of bits and bobs. Yeah, because Imperial it's colours. a bit of this yeah. and a bit of that. Because that Avalon's quite good for that. I mean, there is, uh, if you want any little highlight areas, things like uh, Uriel Yellow is quite a nice highlight colour. Well, this was it. You was going to do me a list of paint, weren't you, on what... You know, if I if I put that bane blade on the table now in your house, I, I, I what I thought, you know, you would know roughly what type <clears> of paint <throat> scheme you would need to get it to look like bad moon orcs, wouldn't you? Yeah, well, I wouldn't, but I'd be able to formulate ideas. Yeah, we, and that's we do kind need of to do where I'm out struggling there, at the moment because I don't know that. I I would just paint it this that, but I want it to look like a turret i want it to look like a gun i want it to, you know what i mean so mm. it's just getting used to the equivalents because i'm going to be doing a lot more war ammo so i might as well get stuff so that you know when i'm painting it someone go oh have you got this shade might go yeah i have i'll give it a brush with that see the one thing i like to do when i'm making a model sometimes is find line art of the of the model if it's especially a gumpler and some stuff you can find line art and then you can use like a colouring book and you can try different colouring schemes out. Now, the problem with yeah. your build is it would take me six months just to draw the line up. Yeah, for me, it's far <laughs> easier me just to do a quick test paint. Because yeah. if, it, if it is gash, I can, I can remove the paint. Yeah. So I don't mind that, you know. And it's that's only just a quick, let's just spray it to see how it sprays. I'm not worried whether it's a, a complete all-over coat. I just want to see how yeah. it is. Is it too thin? Is it going to run, streak, spider? You know, and it didn't. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah, the citadel stuff's quite good. It's quite good mm. for spraying, but it's very delicate though, so it'll rub off yeah. that easily. Yeah. So it's so going to have um, a nice, decent base coat, and then yeah, I just need to look at other paints just to get all yeah. them different effects of the metals and the. Well, what, what we can do, we need to do a little hangout. Blue in. Yeah, we need to get together and have a brain session. But what I would say is, I don't want to tell you what colours to paint things. Uh, no, I'll, I'm doing it bad moon orcs, but if, say for instance, sorry, I spoke over you there, mate. That's right. I say say I... for instance, that machine gun, mate, mm -hmm. is going to be like a gun metal -y colour or something where you can blue the barrels to make it look as if it's warmed up. You know that type of thing. I don't. Not that'll, on... be a, that'll be a bolter. Yeah, not on uh, Citadel, yeah, yeah. I don't. You know what I mean? No, so... no, just say, just say, just say, just say no, that's a bolter, not a machine gun. Oh, is it? <laughs> What's a bolter? 
Bolter. Oh. It's, it's a big gun that fires bolts. Oh, right. Oh, explosive, explosive bullets. You see, you learn something every day. Absolutely. But yeah, machine yeah, machine guns are actually called machine guns are actually called stubbers. Yeah. Although it's orcs, so if it was if it was an orc weapon, it'd be a shooter. Yeah. But because it's an it's not an orc weapon, it's an imperial weapon on on the on a stolen tank, so it's just yeah. a, a bolter. So it's just the a little, little thing. The little 50 cal guns on the turrets will be stubbers or heavy stubbers. Oh, well, yeah, that's all irrelevant anyway. That's all nonsense. But yeah, but yeah, it's just to get the the effect to look right. To look, you know, I'm not like I say. I know I can use non citadel paints to achieve certain colours. Well, you can use whatever, whatever paint I mean, you want. If there's a citadel paint that does it, like some of these blends and and, and all of that lot, where. Is it what they call it? Contrasts? Is it contrast paints or whatever? Don't use contrast paints. Don't use contrast it's, paints. You don't you need know, where you can get all them sexy effects of the different. No, you don't use contrast paints. No, 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 no. no, no. But light going to dark shades and stuff like Tran that. You need glazes and transitions and that's stuff. It, all of that government. No, that's not anything specific. That's just water-based acrylic paints. Yeah, but uh, yeah. It, it, what I would, what I would, we can get together. But it's better if, rather than. You just say what colour should I paint it? You have a colour scheme in mind, uh, and you want to say to me, "I want to paint this yellow. I want that to be brown. This needs to be a metallic colour. I want that bit red. Mm. I want this bit blue, and that bit's green. What colour should I use?" Then I can tell you the kind of colours to look for. Oh, right. No, but I think you. I don't want to tell you which bits to paint what colour because that's not you oh, being creative. Oh no! I mean, the main bulk is going to be the different shades of yellows. Yeah. I'm going to do the odd couple of turrets in different clan colours. Yeah. Because they've been, you know, the original ones have been cocked up, and they've had to go and nick a couple yeah. of more. So I think you what's know, going to have stripe, uh, stripes, checkerboards, and things like yeah. that. So you you get an idea in your head of what you want to be, what colour? Bones. And then I, I can I can we can go through the if you want to stick to Citadel, we can yeah. go through the Citadel colour range and look at what colours would be good for that. Yeah, things like the ons on the front, you know, ohms. the right bone colours, so that it oh, looks yeah, like, I tell you things like that. You know what I mean? I yeah. So. Well, tell you, tell you what. Write down the list. Yeah. Go through. Go get the model in front of you. Yeah. And write down a list of everything that will be a different colour. So, like, so if something's going to be, you say, oh, like this will be red, that will be green, that will be blue, that will be bone, that will be yeah. gold, that will be silver. So yeah. that at the end of it, you've got a list. Yeah. Of all the different colours. You don't mean don't. I don't mean a list of every single thing on the tank, but no, this, no, this categorise it into yeah. Yeah, so these things will be yellow. This will be so you'll know what colours you want. Yeah, and then then what me and you can do is do a little hangout with each other and just have, go through and look at some colours. If you want to stick to Citadel, we can go through and look at some colours. Yeah, so I was saying I'll look you up with a colour list as well. Brilliant, yep. mate. Yeah, uh, Mike saying Soyuz is undocking soon. Laugh out loud. Yes, the pair mm -hmm. of nerds will be watching a bit of space in a mo. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean honestly, it's uh, what's that? Uh, Sire so says it would be worth you getting the Citadel paint colour app. I've got that on my phone. Oh, yeah, get it on your tablet as well. Yeah, it says because... I can tell you a bad moon paint list all day long, but the app would be more invaluable. Because what 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 probably end up happening with me and you is that we will go through the Citadel app, or we'll be saying, right, I want you'll be saying to me, I want to paint this thing green here. Yeah. And I'll go through the app, and I'll be like, okay... Because I know I know the kind of colours, yeah. So it'll be a case of we'll have all the green colours, and I'll say I think that one will work best, and it will say which colours you need, and that yeah. will tell you what colours you want. Then if you want to get that effect, yeah, brilliant. Uh, or I can yeah. say, well, you might say I want this one, and I'll be like, yeah, it might be a bit bright. Go for this other one, so we can. Well, this is it because I'm a little bit with colours, you know, with the the blends with the Citadel at the moment. Yeah, yeah it's all new to me. But yeah, I'll get the app. That's because I've got it on my phone, so I'll get it for this. Android tab then, so yeah, yeah. But I mean, there's on the other hand though, there's nothing at all wrong with just painting it your own way, and it doesn't really matter. You don't have to use Citadel. Oh paint. no, you to it's you know I'm not saying way. oh it's a war hammer I can only use Citadel, but yeah. if they do because their paints are really nice, aren't they? Let's be honest. Oh, yeah. And if there's a Citadel paint that's there that can achieve the result a lot better, yeah. then I'd be silly not to use it. Would I? Yeah, true. Well, we'll because see, we'll, I'm just doing the Bane Blade. I'm going to be doing a few other vehicles, so yeah. why not? So we'll, we'll get yourself a list together then. Just go down and break it. Break down the Bane Blade into the different colours you'll need. Yeah. You've got orc skin, leather, metal, yeah, yellow, blue, red. So you've got to have green skin with 
different shades for muscles and shadows and all of that. Yeah, gubbins. you've got tracks, you've got uh, silvers for your metallics, you've got golds and bronzes. There you go, see, Rust. yeah. Yeah, so so get, break it down to a list of the colours you that the, the colour types like green, red, gold, and yeah, whatever. Yeah, break it down and do a list, and then we'll just go through it one by one. And yeah, what brilliant, mate. Work. Because it's it's going to be a massive help because yeah, it's a nice painting project, and it's a painting project that I kind of want to get right, but not in a rivet countery way. You know what I mean? Yeah, you want to make it, you want to make it good. You want to make yeah, it, you I want, want to do a good job justice. of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Lynn says, actually, yes. the Soyuz lands in two hours. Mm. Uh, yeah, what Mike was saying, Lynn, if you had read it, was it's undocking soon, darling. It's not on about it landing. Yeah. I do believe Lynn Rivet counted you there, Dad. <laughs> Lynn, behave. Come it's on not now. Audio, it's not an audio issue, is it? It's because he's got that snowball microphone. That's what it is. That could be what it is. She didn't Mike. hear the comment because he's got that snowball. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so that's weirdly and they've just said that see yeah yeah so anyway yeah just do a little list yeah uh, you know what i mean by a list and uh then we'll we can go through and then start picking out yeah it's, no like, worries, it's like decorating our first house together oh no well i'll take this <laughs> next door and download the app so i know i've got it and yeah. uh yeah sit and do that yeah. anyway i'm gonna kick you out because you've got to get up really early tomorrow yeah i've got to go to bed soon so uh so i don't want to keep you up all night mate uh just like i say big 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 thank you to all of those that kindly gave a super chat and yeah. also to each and every one of you that has kindly joined us in the chat so yeah. you're making thank you for coming along everyone yeah you're making this worthwhile for me and him to do on a friday we'll change the name it was friday frolic uh, with Fester and Fox, wasn't it? We went for uh, it was, uh, Friday Frolics. Somebody else caught with another one, which was even shorter. Uh, but I can't find it now. It was somewhere. Uh, uh, Paul D. Tomato says, To what address do I send the new cloths to? <laughs> <laughs> PM Helgen35 at geocities.com. Yeah, yeah. Uh, send me an email. Email address is on the welcome video on my YouTube channel, mate. I have my email address up there, but. Oh, there you I'll go, have, I found uh, it. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Lynn says, Friday Frolic with Fester and Fox, agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work better. So yeah, I'll sit and change that during the week. Yeah. Yeah. Any particular colour choices? Are you happy with the colours, folks? Do we need to... Yeah. I don't think it, we need to get that granular with the audience. That's, yeah. where you're, that's where you're allowed to express your creativity. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, that's not creative. That's 1990s thumbnail there, mate. <laughs> I do that's, things very simple. That's all right. Anyway, folks, love and leave you. Catch you all yep. later. Stay safe. We're we'll See you. You're on tomorrow, isn't you, for your Skyrim? Yep, I'm on tomorrow at 3 pm for Skyrim. And I'll see you at 12 30 with Dangerous Dave and Morgan Mountain for another Sunday brunch. Yes. How come Dad's not in the background anyway? Just very quickly. Uh, I think he is in bed with his tablet we'll leave it there we'll leave it there yeah now. he's bo <laughs> he's watching his space tv oh, oh no yeah, there he is he is there well there he is he's not he's, not, he he's not lying in bed watching big jet tv sorry mate kids. i thought you was upstairs oh, with your ipad mate no i got you two on on the ipad there you go yeah yeah, yeah. yeah dad dad blip <laughs> thumb says hello oh. dad i'm ragnarvold does whoops there he is <laughs> His glasses fell off. They're good, didn't they? Yeah. So, yeah, folks. Uh, thanks for joining us all. And uh, we'll catch up with you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye. Wear a mask. Bye. Yeah. Bye.